god, where's my browser? There we are. There we are. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Happy Saturday. Man, I feel like I'm up so early. I feel like it's just so freaking early. It's 10 o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> but hello, everybody. Um, today we are playing Strange Town Saturday. I'm so excited to get back to Strange Town. We're going to the Nowhere Motel. Sounds so creepy, doesn't it? Um, let me ping the Discord real quick. At, at Discord? Somebody's, somebody's Discord name is Sexy CEO of Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I almost pinged the sexy CEO of Discord. Uh, going live on Twitch right now. There we go. All right. <laughs> no, I changed my mind. I said I was going to do Legacy today, but I changed my mind. I want to do Strange Town Saturday. So we're doing Strange Town Saturday. I woke up. I felt. I feel pretty good this morning. I feel pretty good, guys. Aw, thank you so much for the eight months at tier one, Christina. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I love The Sims 2 music, too. Okay, let me think. Um, we are going to be playing Barb today. So if you remember when Rip went to college, he took his friend Barb with him. He had a crush on Barb. Her name's actually Barbara, but we just started calling her Barb because she kind of looks like Barb from Stranger Things. And she is a townie in Strange Town. And she's one of the pre-made townies. We didn't make her up. She's not a rando. She is a Maxis townie. Her name is Barbara Young. She went to college with Rip. She, it turns out she was gay. So she didn't go for Rip, even though he kept wanting to woohoo with her. She was like, no, thank you. I don't swing that way. And then she ha had a friendship with Margaret Howe, who is a strange town townie as well. She's very mean, but she likes Barb for some reason. And then the two of them fell in love right after Barb graduated from college. Now Barb has moved in to the Nowhere Motel and we are going to play out their relationship and see what happens. Now Barb is a family sim, so I assume she's going to be wanting a family pretty quickly. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to find a donor. Maybe we'll have to find a sperm donor. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the game now. And let's get in here. Let's get in here. Oh, great. It's going to take it a minute. It's going to take it a minute to pop up. Am I tiny? I made myself smaller and I was like, I don't know. Woo! Woo! There, that's better. <laughs> she needs an alien baby. I was thinking that too. You look tired. Are you okay? That's kind of an insulting thing to say, Dreadicorn. <laughs> No, I'm tired. I just woke up like an hour ago. And also I'm fat, so it makes my eyelids look... You know what? A lot of people say, Cindy, you look tired all the time. I'm like, no, I'm just fat. Okay? I have... My eyes are... My eyelids are fat. Okay? God. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Uh for the cheer thank you for the cheer beth and thank you for the five month prime sub chop chop thank you so much <laughs> i'm pulling out the sass today i'm sorry um no i know what you mean dread court i'm i wasn't trying to be rude to you i'm just i'm just i'm just using you to be sassy okay <laughs> i am okay but i did just wake up like an hour ago uh, but I do feel pretty good today. I do feel pretty good today. Okay, let's see. We're going to play Barb. So let's load it up. But uh, ju just, I'm just piggybacking on that because people comment that sometimes on my uh, videos. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, God, I have fat eyelids, okay? Jeez. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for the six month prime sub, Sarah. Thank you so much. And we got a uh, beg, and thank you for the cheer, Beth Hale, if I didn't say so. And we got a beg for gift sub from Vine a Bottle, if anybody feels generous in the chat. Oh yeah, I am fat though. I am. I mean, I'm chub I'm chunky. I'm chubby. You know, I need to lose some. I need to lose some weight. <laughs> I'm not like 600 pounds, but you know, I could stand to lose a few pounds. Let's be realistic here. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. 
Okay, thank you so much for the four months at tier one, Wheezy. <laughs> I'm thick. I'm thick. It's true. Um, I'm constantly trying to lose weight. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I got. I have a Taco Bell addiction. Okay, I'm American. <laughs> You aren't fat, you're pretty. That's a, see, don't say that to people, okay? Because that infers that they can't be fat and pretty. And you can. You can. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Enough fat talk. I'm drinking my coffee. That's going to help me out today. <laughs> the goose and mallards had some drama this morning. Okay, so here's... Uh, Here's Barb. Barb is dressing real sexy. Barb Barb does not need to lose any weight. She's she's quite thin. <laughs> That's right, you're not fat. There's just more to love. But you but you are still fat though. You are. <laughs> I mean I am. When you feel you're slow when when these you always serve it right away. Add a smile and have a nice day. Barb is stinky or skinty? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are saying. Barb's nose could lose some weight. Oh, she's got, she's, she, well, <laughs> well, she's got a wide nose, but you know, it's part of her charm. It's part of her charm, y'all. <laughs> um, so I don't know, is she stinky? Let's check her, let's check her out here. She's not stinky. Do -do 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 -do. Thank you so much for the brand new tier one sub, Sarah Don't Care. <laughs> All right, so Barb, guys, she is, is she engaged? Yes, she is engaged to Margaret Howe. They got engaged like immediately after they started dating. It, their relationship went really fast. Yeah, there's a way to adopt townie children, yes. Yes. She has a face. Yes, she does, she has a face. Um, and so now she wants to get joined. She wants to get joined to Margaret. She wants to throw a wedding party. So I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Um, now I'm trying to think about how we're going to do this in the apartment because we're going to have to buy a wedding arch. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Marrying on the third date like a true lesbian. I wonder if we can get a wedding arch in her apartment. This is her tiny little apartment. It's about the same size as Rip's apartment was, I think. I think they have the same size apartment. No, I think actually hers is a bit smaller. Hers is a bit smaller. But let's, uh, she only has 577 simoleons to her name. And let's see here. She can't even afford a wedding arch. So we're going to have to save up a little bit of money. But you know what we could do is we could go ahead and move Margaret in with her. And that way they could save up money for the wedding together. Oh, yeah, I do have a wedding mat. That's true. That's a good point, Emma. That's a good point. It's so funny to hear the almost, stra almost Stranger Things music. And then we're playing Barb. We're playing Barb from Stranger Things. That's what I'm going to imagine. Oh yeah, I do need to change the season. Thank you for reminding me that. We do need to change the season. Uh, so she'll be in sync with everybody else. So we're gonna use the uh, season and weather controller. Thank you so much for the three months at tier one Megamatic. And thank you so much for the 200 bits Noodle Belly. Um, okay, so we're gonna set season to summer. We're second summer, right? We're at second summer. Yeah. We're at second summer and we need to set, season length is fine. Season length is fine, okay. Alrighty. And, aw, thank you so much Envy156 for giving out five community gift subs. Thank you for giving those five gift subs to Noxteer, uh, Ferelden Renegade, Me in Cologne, and Nightcrawlers. <laughs> We're playing second summer. And thank you, Adreb Mebin, from for converting your Prime Gaming sub to a tier one sub. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that, guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, so let's see. 
I think we'll move Margaret in. Let's get a phone. Let's get a phone for the apartment. I'm, I'm singing that very badly. Okay, let's go call up Barb, ask, invite her over, and then we're gonna ask her to move in. Because we need both of them to have jobs and save up money um, for this wedding. Because she's not gonna be able to do it alone. Barb is looking good though. She's really pulling off that little dress. <laughs> the Sims music is singable, Carrie. That's a very good way to put it. All right, let's call up. Uh, let's call up Margaret. Now Barb is also friends with Tank Grunt, River Smith, and Tina and Rip. So she has a little friend network going on. Oh no, Margaret's not home. Okay, well Barb is unemployed. Also, so that's not going to help things. And she doesn't want to get a job right now or earn any money or anything like that because she's a family sim. She just wants to talk to somebody. But who is out here stomping at the door? Landlord? Okay, let's go talk to him. Go chat with the landlord. Um, oh, no, it's Melba. <laughs> it's Strange Town Melba, y'all. Uh, here you are. Melba Lee is here. <laughs> I can't wait to make my own version of Melba in The Sims 4 for paranormal stuff. That's what I'm going to do. Marb. <laughs> Team Marb. <laughs> yes, Margaret is probably going to be the one bringing home the bacon. Okay, yes, Melba. Let's go talk to Melba. Greet Melba. She wants to talk to somebody. Go talk to Melba. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name's Barb. <laughs> Let's see if we can chat with her. Uh, chat. Chat with Melba, please. Thank you so much for the two months at tier one, Hannah Mads. Thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub, Shadow Boy 92 Thank you for the five gift subs, Ferelden Renegade. Thank you for giving those gift subs to Lena, Lena Okay, Oak, uh, Tea Addict, Reese, Playful Sims, and Draw Me a Rabbit. And uh, also thank you for the, something came before that. <laughs> thank you for the prime sub, Kate Hef. Wow, you guys are just going at it, thank you. Thank you for the prime sub, Testy Besties. <laughs> Thanks guys. Testy Besties, all right. Uh, oh, look, she wants to get a job, y'all. Yes, she wants to get a job. All right, we're taking it, we're taking it. Um, I, we are going to have Mar, Bar, Marb, Barb, B Marg, <laughs> I can't, I'm going to get their names confused so much, guys. Um, anyway, Barb, Mar, for the love of God, Margaret is going to be bringing home the bacon, but also Barbara wants to get a job in oceanography. So, you know what? She's already got the paper and let's, let's just, let's lock that in because that's important. Um, and let's find a job. Let's see if there's anything available. We might have to send her down to the, uh, job center. Team Mar- Bargret! <laughs> Mar- Mar- Marg and Barb. It's very difficult to, to say. <laughs> Marb. <laughs> She's gonna have a long commute to the ocean. She is. That is true. That is very true. What type of job is Barbara looking for? Full time, please. We need some full-time income in here. We are young. We are just out of college and we need some money. Oh my God, what are the odds? Look at that, the first job available. I don't think that's ever happened to me ever. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh yeah, she could She could look at the laptop, but I feel cheaty doing that. That's why I have a job center. Um, okay, so we're gonna take this job. She only gets to start at level one, which means her degree has nothing to do with this. So whatever. Whatever, Barb. You want what you want. Okay, she got a job. No, there's not a prediction going on. We're going to do a prediction. I think we're going to do a prediction on whether or not... What should we do a prediction on, guys? Oceanography is an odd wish, but, you know, she wants what she wants. Are they going to have a baby? See, I don't know if I want to do a prediction on that because... How about we do, will Barb get the want for a baby? Like, you're most likely she will. 
but some of you guys might be able to take a chance because if she gets the want for a baby then i'm thinking about doing something that we've never done before and that is finding a sperm donor amongst the men in strange town to father the baby <laughs> why is she standing like that i don't know <laughs> Um, thank you so much. Oh, I did miss Isabel begging for a gift sub. I'm so sorry, but it looks like Harley has uh, given a gift sub to Isabel. So thank you so much, Harley. Her secondary, that's a good question. What is that? She's got a painted canvas. Uh, thank you so much for four months at tier one, Jillian Kim. Let's see. Her secondary is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what her secondary is. We we gotta we gotta calculate. Do you guys know how long it's been since I pulled out the old aspiration calculator? Man, we're gonna pull it out here. It's deep, it's deep in my files. Let's see. Sims 2 secondary aspiration calculator. Thank you so much for the two months at tier one Simmergetic. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, I'm going to calculate. Let's see. Tell me what you tell me what you like. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Who, who remembers that from the '90s, huh? Where's my '90s people at? Where's my '90s kids at? Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Oh, River would be a good one. River would be a good uh, sperm donor. Okay, zero. What is that? Five, five, nine, four, six. Seven, seven, two, one, four, four, two, three, eight, six, three, eight. Okay. Zig -a -zig ah. <laughs> if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. I remember at my, my best friend's 13th birthday party, we were all singing that song and dancing around. We were like at a freaking Chuck E. Cheese. It wasn't a Chuck E. Cheese, but it was like our town's knockoff version of Chuck E. Cheese. And we were singing that song. I'm surprised her parents weren't like, what the hell are you kids talk saying? <laughs> Friendship never ends. <laughs> he dressed up as Spice Girls in a sleepover. Um, okay, so she's a secondary pleasure. Oh yes, she is a secondary pleasure sim. So let's give her that uh, pleasure, yes. So that can help you in your decision on whether or not you think Barb is going to get the wish for a baby today. So I'm gonna start a prediction. Let's see, will Barb get the wish for a baby? Yes or no, and then after that, we'll do another prediction. If she gets one, we'll do another pred prediction. Okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes. I don't want to give you too long because if she rolls it, you know what I mean? And then you could cheat. So I'm going to give you five minutes to put your predictions in. There you go. You were just singing this? No, she is not single. She is in a relationship with Margaret and they are going to be getting joined very soon. As soon as they can save up enough money for a wedding arch. Hype train complete at level five. Your community contributed a total of 24 sub gifts and 406 bits. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your support. Okay, let's go back to full screen here, though. Okay. Your history teacher dressed up as Baby Spice. Well, that just seems inappropriate somehow. I don't know why. Like, a history teacher should dress up like Marie Antoinette or something. Not Baby Spice. Come on. You've got all the historical figures in the world to choose from. And you choose Baby Spice? I disapprove of this choice. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma Spice. Thank you so much for the brand new tier one sub, Gilly 2K. <laughs> you had fun, fun, fun instead of Chuck E. Cheese. I, I'm not gonna say the name of ours because it was a very, it was like, I think they only had it in my town, but it was really, it was really second rate. It really was. Okay, Barb, uh, let's get you to the bathroom. And so her first day of work is tomorrow. She has to work at 4 a.m. Can you imagine the commute from Strange Town to wherever the ocean is? And you gotta be there at 4 a.m. <laughs> That's rough. That is rough. Oh, I gotta hydrate from Beth. 
Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It was really something like that, Holly. It was really something like that <laughs> in my town. <sighs> It was pretty, it was pretty bad. And we went there like ironically because we're 13 and we're like, we're too cool to go to Chuck E. Cheese, but we're going to go there anyway. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So right now she wants to gain a skill point. We're going to have to keep trying to call Margaret. I guess maybe Margaret has her own job and she's at work right now. You want to play with Melba? <laughs> she wants to play with Melba. Um, I don't think we can play with Melba. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can't. We can't play with Melba. Uh, we can work on a skill point, though. Let's see what kind of skills she needs. Good God, she's got a lot of skills. Look at that creativity. Okay. Um, <laughs> she did a lot of skill building in college, I guess. She's a fish chummer. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cooking, mechanical, or cleaning. Uh, why don't you learn another cooking skill? You can watch it on TV. So let's change to the yummy channel and work on her cooking skill. And then after she does that, we'll call Margaret again. She's very close to getting up there. I don't remember what her major was. Does anybody remember? And I have to be honest with you. I don't know how to check what their major was. Uh, I mean, I have her diploma, but it doesn't tell you. I'm going to actually put her diploma up on the wall. Let's hang that up. Let's be proud of that. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Sekawi. Sekawi? I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. How do you check what their, uh, how do you check what their, do you read it? Let's see if we read it. Literature. Literature. Um, yeah, she got a literature degree and then decided she wanted to be a oceanographer. Those are her choices, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, ne I never realized that. I never even tried to read it before. Um, so, yeah, in all my years of playing The Sims 2, I've just been like, I don't know what their degree is. <laughs> That's so much that's so much easier. Um she's having herself some ramen? I think that's ramen. Yeah. She's having some ramen from the microwave. That's what all of our Sims live on in these apartments is ramen, pizza, and muffins. She got sick of reading. She wants adventure, exactly. <laughs> you wanna predict both? <laughs> you gotta choose. Yeah, maybe she'll write a book on oceanography. That's a really good point. <laughs> Chemistry degree working as a dance therapist. Yeah, it happens. Because, you know, sometimes, if especially if you go to college when you're really young, you might not real know what you want to do. What the heck was that sound? I just heard some, like, kissing and moaning sounds outside. What's going on out here? What is what the apartment neighbors are at it again? I thought about a good prediction would be will Crystal Vu get in a fight with anybody? Crystal, why are you even here? She shouldn't even be here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh yeah, it looks like Bella and Gerard Landry are getting hot and heavy over here. Oh and it looks like Tina's gonna attack Crystal. I these Sims. I don't know. Oh, Barb's coming out to talk to Gerard. Hello, Gerard. Um, I'm going to lock in her want to get a skill point as well. Or actually, no, I'm not. She's got plenty of skill points. We'll, we'll leave that open. Okay, let's go try to call Margaret again and leave these fools alone. They're going to be getting in fights and stuff right outside our door. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's Crystal attacking everybody. I'm going to have to delete her. Okay, Margaret's still not home. Um, she wants to get new clothes. Hmm. Should we get her new clothes? I love her dress so much. I don't want to get her new clothes. Oh, she's talking to Rip. She's... Oh. A good prediction would definitely be, are we going to see a fight outside the apartment somewhere? <laughs> There's Aaron paying her bills. And now Rip is crying. Like, I don't know. It's, a, it's crazy over here. It's like living in a, a Jerry Springer trailer park. 
<laughs> Gerard was a conspiracy theorist about Bella and Margaret was straight. Yes, I remember those. I remember that time. <laughs> those were the YouTube streams. Oh, we could get a wedding wedding dress. That's a great idea. She wants to get a wedding dress, of course. Okay, let's uh, walk down to the clothing store. Let's walk down to the store. Um, we're going to walk down to the strip mall. She's going to go buy her wedding dress at the strip mall. Did I say thank you for the four-month prime sub? Ka Kaizak 1993, if I didn't thank you for the four-month prime sub. Oh, that was Gary? Man, I get Gary and Gerard mixed up because they look almost exactly the same. Okay, stop playing stop playing punch me, punch you, and go go down to the uh strip mall. Dasta. Dasta. Who's that? Oh, David Gibson. Um, I'm pretty sure she's straight because she keeps flirting with Gary or Gerard. I can't I don't remember which one it is. Yeah, they're, I made, we did, we made them brothers. I forgot about that. Oh, I don't know, you guys can remember it better than me. Yeah, we made them brothers because they look exactly the same. And then Gary kept stealing all Gerard's women. Isn't that what happened? Or Gerard was stealing Gary's women. One of them was stealing all the women from the other one. <laughs> that was so funny. We need to play, we need to play that again. Yes, Vine A Bottle has begged for a gift sub if anybody's feeling generous. I'll try again for you, Vine. Um, okay, so Margaret... Oh, Margaret wants to slow dance. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's go down... Let's go downtown. Let's go to the clothing store here. And let's go in and uh, buy a formal dress. That's what we need to do. That was a great idea. Because I don't know what she's wearing as her formal right now, but it's probably not suitable for a wedding. We'll see. Uh, thank you so much, Anonymous Gifter, for gifting a sub to buying a bottle. It's very nice of you. Bar uh, Barb? I, I almost called her Margaret. Barb, where are you? I love that music. How about you guys? The happy shopping music? Yes. <laughs> Gerard was romance, Gary was family. So Gerard was stealing the women from Gary, I think. Gary just wanted Gary just wanted a relationship and he couldn't get one. Oh, that was so fun. Now I want to go play that save. I found that save file too. Or that I guess it's not really considered a save file in The Sims 2. I just got used to used to using that term from The Sims 4. Um, we should get her, she, you know what? We should get her a black dress. Or like a black and white. A black and white. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's what we're going to get her for her wedding day. Yes. Yes. I don't know what Margaret's going to wear either. Yeah, we could recreate it here. That's true. We could do that. We could get, I could get the apart, we could put the apartments down and move them in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, what, oh, you want to watch fish. All right. She also wants to get a kitten, but we can't really afford that right now. I'm going to lock that in, but we're not, we can't afford it right now. There's Razor Waiter. There's Razor Waiter, razoring it up. We can't afford a kitten right now because she's trying to, oh my God, she just spent all her money too. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> We're trying to save up money for the wedding arch and she just spent all her money on her wedding dress. Um, and also, let's go plan her outfit too, so I don't forget to do that. Razor waiter, we love you. Razor in it up in strange town. See, that was her dress before. That dress to me looks like a little kid's dress or something. I don't know. This one, I think this one's better. I think that's better. Yeah. Okay, uh, so she wants to go watch the fish. We're gonna let her do that. There's Gary! Where's the f- or, there it is. Okay, restock it, I guess. You have to restock it before you can watch the fish. There's a parrot and a walmart. Yeah, she does have a job now. 
Yeah, it makes her look rectangular. I agree with that, Sarah. I think it looks better on a teenager because it just doesn't give you any curves, you know? I know it's going to cost money. Oh, don't feed him. Ah, oh, crap. Watch him. I should give her her money back for that, I think. Uh, family funds, young. She had 102. Because she shouldn't have to... Okay, that didn't work. She's thinking about adoption. Did you see that? Family funds, young, 102. Nope, didn't work. I don't know why family funds isn't working. <sighs> oh no, maybe there's somebody else with the last name of young? I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've done. Oh well. <laughs> It wasn't too much money anyway. Now she wants to dine out with a sim. I wonder if we could call up. I wonder if we could invite Margaret over here to have a dinner with us. Where's the phone? Can you call a sim and invite them over? Or do you have to have a cell phone? I think you have to have a cell phone, which she does not have. She does have a, a painting that she did in college. We need to hang that on the wall for her. Kaching will be way too much. Oh, it doesn't work on community lots. Oh, that must be what it is. Thank you. I'm glad you like this. I'm glad you like the store, Miravel. <laughs> if anybody, if you like this strip mall, you can download this on my website at pleasantsims.com. It has a little bit of custom content with it, but not a lot. Um, and it has a grocery store, a clothing store, a restaurant, and a pet store. So everything that they need, I think like one-stop shop okay let's go home let's uh walk home and see if we can call up margaret again maybe she'll be home by like five o'clock i'm thinking that she already has a job hello and she's probably at work today now this is a big lot it has a lot of stuff on it a lot of stuff on the shelves so you get a little tiny bit of lag i don't know if you can see that you'll get a little tiny bit of lag but to me it's still worth it because I like having the strip mall. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. Um, Mariah, you there? I just use the the mod. I just use the mod, the park in the car park, or what's it called? Random parking spots mod, and it that's what it did. It lets it works for. I guess it works for custom cars because they show up there. I didn't do anything different. Okay. That's great. Reset. Reset. What is this happening? Stack trace. Counter controller. All right, let's just delete it. Let's just delete it. Hi, Erdsim. Hello to Germany. I'm doing great this morning. I'm actually feeling really good. I'm feeling the best I've felt in a in like a week. So, today's a good today's a good day. <laughs> Okay, Barb is home, and we're going to go in and try to call Margaret again. I wonder what kind of job she's going to have. Watch her be, like, level 10 of something. Um, Let's call Sam. That would actually be great if she was, because then they could hurry up and move out of these apartments. Like, Barb is just too classy to live at the Nowhere Motel for very long, you know? Um, Let's see. Call up Margaret. Yes, invite her over. We're going to move her in so they can save up for the wedding together. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Onyx. Okay, sounds great. She'll be here in a few. Gary, just get out of here. <laughs> Gary, you're you're blocking my view into my apartment, Gary. Um, I do want them to get a kitten, too. So she wants to get a kitten, but that's probably going to be a little while before we can afford that. But she wants to slow dance. Aww. <laughs> Some NPC cars were recently posted in the Discord. Oh, I haven't checked the uh, I haven't checked the CC or mod channels in a while. I need to go in there and go on a spree. Okay, Margaret's here. Let's greet her. Uh, just well, okay. You can't greet her. Just go give her a hug. Go give her a romantic hug. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Margaret, my love. Now, Margaret is very mean. She is a very mean Sim, but for some reason, she loves Barb. Barb is like the one person she's not mean to. And I hope she doesn't become mean later after they get married or something. Oh, yeah, family funds. Good point. Let's try it. 
Family funds, young, 102. Oh yeah, that's it. It doesn't work on community lots. Of course it wouldn't work on community lots. That makes sense. That makes sense. She was ringing that doorbell. Barb is her person. Okay, so let's ask her if she would like to move in. Um, Move in, please. Not roommate, but just like move in. And holy moly. She just brought 17,000 simoleons. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. Well, I guess they can afford their own house and a wedding now. Yes. <laughs> She's loaded. First of all, let's see what kind of job she, she has. Now she's a fortune sim. Okay. She wants to visit Rip. She's a fortune sim. She did not go to college. Oh. <gasps> She's a level nine magazine editor. <laughs> wow, Barb just lucked out. Barb just lucked out. Look at that. Level nine magazine editor. And she's only barely an adult. I don't know how she managed that, man. She must have some friends in high places. Look at those skills. Look at that charisma. <laughs> I do too. I don't I don't love it when townies have this high of a job level. Bexy, I agree with you. Because it's like you want you want to build their skills up too when you marry them in. But then you just they're already at level 9 or 10. Uh yeah, I don't I don't love that either, but in this particular situation, I'm going to run with it. Um <laughs> because we need to get them out of this motel and now we can. Now we can. She's a trust fund baby. It must be. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's change her age. And especially because she's been around in the neighborhood and working on her career this whole time. So she's been around for two rounds. So that's eight days at least. So eight years. I'm going to increase her age. Uh, let's get a... Let's get a sim blender here. I'm going to increase her age. We'll increase her age by nine years because you have to do in multiples of three. Uh, if you do it through sim blender and it's just the easiest way in my opinion so three okay three and three all right okay so that's good so now she's actually been working on her career for nine years so that makes a little bit more sense how she got up to level nine as a magazine editor and she's older than barb and that makes sense i mean she would be okay <clears throat> her lifetime want is become chief of staff no we got to change that too that's a good point we got to change that too let me get my sim blender back and you know what? There are no houses. I don't think there are any vacant houses in Strange Town. We might have to put a new house down, guys. I gotta hydrate there. And thank you so much for the uh, tier two sub, Onyx. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. She's been working her butt off. She's been waiting on Barb and she's been focused on her career. And then she met Barb and now she's ready to settle down. Okay, let's change her a lifetime once to be a magazine editor, cause she's actually gonna get it. She's gonna be one of the few Sims <laughs> who gets to level 10. Or we could also do earn a hundred thousand if we, if mag if uh, that's not in here. I don't know if that's, if that's a fortune lifetime want or not. It might not be. Own five top level businesses, six pets. Oh, I have never done that lifetime want. The six pets. Ever. It just sounds like such a pain in the ass. Oh, there it is. Become media magnet level 10. There we go. Okay, that's her lifetime want. And what is Barb's lifetime want while we're doing this? Graduate three children from college. Aw. Okay, we're going to let her keep that. We're going to let her keep that one. Um. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if she was spoiled and rich because I think maybe she just worked her butt off. But she could have come from a rich family. That's true. Um, her, let's see her sign and everything. She's a Scorpio. So she only has three nice points. She's not very nice. She's very serious. See, this, her being very serious makes me think that she just achieved all this on her own. 
She's very active, very serious. I mean, she just worked her butt off, I think. I really do. I think she just did this all on her own. Now she makes a ton of money. Um, okay, and I want to move these two out. I want to move these two out. So it's Monday at 6.22 p.m. We're going to move them out in the morning. We're going to let them stay the night here. Um, yeah, so we can have a wedding party at their new house. I think she's a hard worker, yeah. I'm she's. I do. I think she's definitely a hard worker. She was like, I don't care. I'm, I, I will step on anybody to get to the top of my career. I think she's that kind of person. I do. Uh, Johnson Pie. Hello, Johnson. And what are you doing, Barb? What are you trying to do? Oh, you can't reach that? Well, I can't pick it up, so... <laughs> Too bad. I don't know what to tell you. And she wants to play with Margaret. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, I should have expected it. I always get surprised. I'm like, what? Oh, no. She can't get in bed. No, 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 no. Get over here. I'm sorry. No, it ruins it. It ruins it. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Barb was like, sorry. I got to go take a shower right now. We'll come back to that. Put a pin in it. <laughs> um, okay, so Margaret. I think we know everything. Oh, we need to do her secondary. Okay. Oh my god, she's got a bunch of stuff in her inventory. Holy crap. <laughs> she's got a huge stereo system, a telescope, a toasting set, a stove, a mirror, a gnome, and a toy car. <laughs> yes, the bottle of champagne for the wedding. Yeah, she has everything. She has the abduction telescope, too. And what is her logic skill? Hold on. Hold on. What's your logic skill? That's four. <laughs> she was living her best life, and now Barb is going to live hers. Okay, we need some food, though. Why don't you go get something? Go have some ramen. You guys just have to tough it out in the motel for one night, and then we can go house shopping tomorrow. Yes, she should have a degree. You're absolutely right. She should have a degree, because you can't get to level nine in your career without a degree in my game. So let's give her a degree. Uh, and thank you so much for the two months at tier one, Beth Hale. Thank you so very much. She has a stove and a gnome. That's right. She's perfect. Um, we are going to upgrade Sim pre-uni and we are going to give her... Oh, what should we give her? Literature. She and Barb can have bonded over their love of literature. And she is in the media career anyway, the journalism career. So definitely literature for her. There we go. Yes. And let me put Barb's thing back in her inventory as well. Okay. And now, oh, she wants to buy, she wants to buy a wedding dress too. Okay. We're going to have to send her to the store tomorrow to get a wedding dress also. She wants to get fit. She's like, hey, I need the microwave here. I'm hungry too. Okay. <laughs> Old rich ladies pay her to write about him. They could have an alien baby. They totally could. Okay, get your ramen so Margaret can eat. All right, there we go. Uh, how? Oh, there she goes. Cup of ramen. I didn't even have to choose it. She chose it for herself. No, they just want to buy new clothes is the wish. But since their wedding's coming up, I'm assuming that means that she wants to get a wedding dress. That's just my interpretation. Yeah, I need to give her her secondary aspiration. And I need to give her her uh, points as well for her fortune so we're giving her the fortune tree and then we'll see about her secondary aspiration <laughs> her hobby is sports <coughs> i'm sorry guys uh her hobby is sports and let's see about her what is that became big woman <gasps> she was big woman on campus Oh, Barb, man, she is a go-getter, y'all. She is really a go-getter, isn't she? She was big woman on campus. Okay, there, there's your interest. That's what I'm looking for. All right, let me get the, let me get the spreadsheet up again. I already closed it out because I didn't think I was gonna need it again. I forgot about Mar, Marge, Marg, Marg or Marge. What do you think it is? 
Oh, we got a commercial break. Okay, from Dreadicorn. All right, we'll do a commercial break. Let me do the uh, aspiration real quick, and then we'll do that. <clears throat> okay, politics three, two, four, nine, seven, four, one, one, zero, six, eight, four, seven, one, eight, four, four, four. And we got knowledge. Ooh. So that makes me think we might have an alien baby in our future. Yes, she's knowledge. I think she would really want to have an alien baby. I definitely think so. Uh, yeah, I'll look for yours, Dreadicorn. I'll look for yours. Um, okay, so let's give her her knowledge secondary. Okay, this is perfect. This is working out so well. Okay, let me save and we got a commercial break redeemed here. I also kind of want to do a... I kind of want to do a sperm donor type of thing. Oh, you guys couldn't even see that, could you? I moved it all over here on the screen. You guys couldn't even see it when I was putting in the... <laughs> I was putting in the numbers. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, I got knowledge. Okay, so let me see what we've got for commercials. Uh, okay, Dreadicorn gave us a commercial here. Oh, I don't think I can play this, Dreadicorn. I think this is going to be copyrighted. Um, because it's the Old Spice commercials, which I love those commercials. Did you know that those were directed by uh, Tim and Eric? The Terry Crews o Old Spice commercials? They're so good, but I don't think I can play them because I think it's going to give me a copyright because those are very, uh, those are very popular. Yeah. Female Sims cannot get pregnant by abduction normally, but I have a mod that makes it so they can't. Um, so I'm sorry, Dreadicorn. If you give me another one, I'll let, do you have any other ones in here? I don't think so. But if you give me another one before the end of the stream, I'll play it. But I don't think I can play that one. I gotta be real careful. Let's see. What else we got in here? Kitchen gun plus toilet grenade. What? What is this? I don't know what this is. Okay, we're gonna watch Kitchen Gun and Toilet Grenade. I don't know. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into here. Um, I gotta hydrate, okay. Oh, you put it in already? Okay, let me see. Maybe we'll wait on Kitchen Gun and hydrate. All I see is your best of Terry Crews, Old Spice. I can't play that one. So you have to give me another one. But I will put in, uh, I will watch Kitchen Gun. We'll watch Kitchen Gun in the meantime. This kitchen is so Oh, no, hot. stop. I'm not ready. I'm not ready, YouTube. Don't play before I'm ready. Okay, here we go, guys. You ready? This is your sticky thought? <laughs> okay, we got a meme too. All right. This kitchen is so hard to clean. If only there was an easier way. Hi, I'm Derek Bum. Say goodbye to <laughs> daily stains and dirty surfaces with new kitchen gun. <laughs> oh, this no. sink is filthy, but just three shots from kitchen gun. <laughs> <laughs> now like it's you. clean. Look how it cleans this greasy hob. <laughs> Goodbye, dirt. Grubby tiles. <laughs> That's so stupid. Hey, I love you, kitchen gun. Rusty taps. <laughs> <laughs> you can even use it on the washing up. It's a parody of there, ki kill it, again. kill it. New kitchen gun. Now with laser sight and night vision. I don't even know how to say that. Cleaning. Okay, hold on. Let's watch the original one then. That's apparently a parody of this one. I don't know how to say this word. Remember me? Barry Scott. Over a million women <laughs> around the UK are at it. They've replaced their multi-purpose cleaners with Silit Bang Universal Silit. Degreaser. Silit. It looks dogs. like something else. Cleaner. The grease on my hob used to drive me mad, but Silit Bang takes care of it. I even use it on my pots and pans. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, grills, surfaces, pots and pans. <laughs> so wonderful. Silit Bang Universal Degreaser. Bang. 
Bang and the dirt is gone. See, I'm glad we're not the only ones who have really bad commercials like that. <laughs> Thank you for sharing those with us. Yeah, it looks like that's what it looks like. Uh, but I don't want to say that. I don't want to say those words. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing those. And let me find a meme, too. Let me find a meme here. Oh, Dreadicorn gave us another one. Okay. Um, this is not in English. I don't know what this is, but okay, we'll watch it. It says English subtitles. Let's see. You have still ja, it bang in Russia? Wir wieder zurück beim Kinderkreis. Toll, toll, super toll. Habt ihr fruit gushers? Oh, fruit gushers. This is probably going to get me a, a copyright too. Schön toll. <laughs> wie heißt du schön? Ich heiße Elfrida. Und wie fühlst du dich, wenn du kuschelst? How do the gushers make you feel? Gushers mach mich ganz. They make her go crazy with happiness. Schön, sehr gut. <laughs> Okay, Tänzer, zeig mir ganz Crazy with happiness. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I love this. <laughs> this looks like Tim and Eric. <laughs> Kiss. Yes. Yes. I need more of this in my life. Move that pelvis. Don't be afraid to move your pelvis. Was denkst du? Super toll. Und wie fühlst du dich wenn du How do the gushers make you feel? Gushers sind echt gut und innen so saftig. Full of flavor. I love this. Yes, dance, dance for me, puppets. <laughs> okay, yeah. Jetzt bin ich aber kaputt von all den Spaß. I don't even care if this is copyrighted. It's really good. Come on, find your pet. I know you've got one, and it's okay to move for heaven's sake. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for the tier one sub, Jasperology. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I love how I love that she's trying too hard, Miles. That makes it funnier. <laughs> oh, thank you for sharing that. Why have they stolen your dance moves? <laughs> okay, let me. Uh, oh, we got a meme too. All right, that was good. I like that. I like that. All right, let me see what kind of memes we got in here. I know I saw some egg memes. I never get tired of the egg. Oh my God, so many egg memes. So many egg memes. <laughs> oh, I saw, I've seen this one before. This is a funny one. <laughs> it's in Power Rangers, it's strong patrollers. <laughs> Who would win? One eggy boy? An actual heartfelt photo by a celebrity. You know who's gonna win. You know who's gonna win. It's the eggy boy. <laughs> I love the eggs. When you walk in, memes now. Memes then, memes now. <laughs> egg, egg. Oh yeah, you should do that with the, you should do that with the Sims music, Simmergetic. You should do that. That'd be a good one. Uh, I put an orange on top for my cat. Now I have an egg. I've seen this one too. Egg is life. I want some eggies, mother. Okay, we got one more egg. We got one. We got so many eggs. <laughs> You're already working on it. <laughs> uh, what you egg? The egg. <laughs> no, these don't even make sense anymore. What? Do you, what even is this? <laughs> I don't know why these are so. They're so funny because they're absurd. Oh, what did I just do? I just laughed at that. Um, I love anything. I love absurd humor, you know? That's why I like Tim and Eric. It's just ridiculous. 
party egg here to have a smashing good time. <laughs> He's the party egg. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go more. I'm just gonna do more. We're just gonna go on an egg spree. Me thinks about an egg for two seconds. Google adds, "Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time?" <laughs> Google, how do you know my thoughts and dreams? <laughs> Nigel Thornberry. Oh man, I used to love that show. Thank you for those egg memes, Nathan. Those are the those are good. Those are very good. Thank you. <laughs> we need to do an egg meme stream. Only egg memes for three hours. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. I think that was the only meme we had. Yeah. All right. Back to Mar- back to Marb. Back to Marb in the game. They're eating their dinners and uh, then they're going to relax with a belly full of ramen. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we better give them a little privacy there. You'll need to take a special bath for <laughs> No kidding, Carrie. <laughs> Egg is not not egg. Water thy egg. Egg meme hunt. Let's do it. Let's do it. Egg meme hunt. <laughs> hey, Lord Crumbs. Welcome. Pixel party. Oh, here we go. This is their first encounter. Their first intimate encounter. <laughs> Replace every vowel in your name with egg. Seg... Segnin Segnindy <laughs> Segnin that you yeah, I can't even do that in my name. <laughs> okay, uh they're done. So maybe they'll go to sleep now. What does she want? Stay home for work. She's gonna destroy her career because she's part pleasure sim. She's half pleasure sim. Thank you so much for the two months at tier one, Rocket Queen. Okay, so I'm gonna let them go to sleep now. They're getting quite romantic over here, but they need to go to sleep. Well, actually, Barb, you go to the bathroom. No wants to have babies yet, y'all. No wants yet. <laughs> yeah, staying the night was too much of a temptation. That's all right. I don't blame them, I mean. Um, why are you still so hungry? Have some pizza. Have a slice of pizza. Okay, Barb, you go to sleep. She's got to go to work tomorrow. She's got to go to her first day of work tomorrow. And then when she gets home, we're going to be moving. When does uh, Margaret have to go to work? She gets home at 4 p.m. Barb gets home at 11. So we're going to be moving at 4 p.m. <laughs> Eggle begs for sugar. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'll, I'll show it in a minute. Uh, Simmergetic. Thank you for that's going to be hilarious. We'll show that before the end of the stream. I'm half pleasure, Sim. I don't know about you guys. I'm half knowledge, half pleasure. That's what I am. <laughs> Some people are not half pleasure, though. Um, okay, once you eat, you can just take a shower and go to sleep. You don't have to get up as early. She can't go to, she's not tired enough to go to sleep yet. Zeg Egg is your new nickname. <laughs> nickname. Yes, Zeg Egg for Zoe. That's hilarious. Your name works really well for it. <laughs> You're full grilled cheese. <laughs> if I could have a third aspiration, I'd be grilled cheese. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm definitely knowledge pleasure. I might be pleasure knowledge, to be honest with you. I'm quite a hedonist. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's send... Can you go to bed now? No. What can we do with you? Reach body level four. Well, you're going to wake her up if you start working out. Hmm. I wish I, I wish I could send her for a jog, but I can't. So I don't know. I can't do any... I can't do anything for you. Um, you can go visit. Well, no, it's 11.33. Or, I don't know. Just sit here. Just sit here until you're sleepy. <laughs> I know. I wish we had a romance that wasn't, wasn't like, 
Don Lothario romance. More like the soulmate in The Sims 4. That would be nice. I know exactly what you mean. She's gonna sit here and watch Barb sleep in a very creepy manner. Let's see. <laughs> Barb's snoring. Your knowledge with the secondary pleasure? Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, we could jump rope outside. That's true. Let's do some jump. That'll make her tired too. Go jump rope. What? What? What do you mean? Oh, unlock. Was it locked? Was the door locked? What's your problem? She's worrying. Why are you worrying? You guys are loaded compared to the other families. Okay, why can she not go outside? Okay, let's see. Let's see if that works. Oh, okay, that's... Ugh. God, just go outside, lady. All right. <laughs> now jump rope. There we go. No, I didn't lock them in. I don't know why it said unlock. That was weird. Oh, I better lock it back. Because uh, I don't want randos just walking in there. Got a shout out from Sammy to 13 year old me who thought the romance aspiration was the same as the romance soulmate traits in Sims 3 and was horrified when all your Sim wanted to do was woohoo with other Sims and have no kids. Yep. That's what romance means in The Sims 2. It means woohoo with everyone in sight. <laughs> Jump roping on cold concrete barefoot in the dark sounds like torture. When I was a kid, me and my sister used to jump rope barefoot on gravel. We we were country kids. We had tough feet. We went barefoot outside all the time. <laughs> yeah, I find it annoying how they complain about the lack of space, too, instead of just going outside or going somewhere where they have space. How many gigs is Sims 3 with all expansions? It's a lot. Um, it's a, I can't remember exactly, but it's a lot. I might be able to tell you in my fi in my files. Let me see. I think I had to I think I had to install this on my other hard drive. Nope, I don't. I have that on my main hard drive. Wow. Um, okay. Let's see then. Properties. I'll tell you in just a second. Let me go to my program files. Origin games, The Sims 3. 31 gigs. 31 gigs and I have all, but that's all expansions and all stuff packs. Um, except for Katy Perry and Diesel. I have 31.3. Somebody in chat has 32. So it's somewhere around 30 to 32. Okay, are you done? Are you done? Let's go go to sleep now. <laughs> go to sleep now. I know I thought it was more than a more than 30, but thir about 30. Yeah, your body can handle a lot more when you're young, definitely. Definitely. You're more you're ply you're more pliable when you're young. <laughs> No, um, I'm not a game changer, so I don't get the packs early. EA probably doesn't like me very much. <laughs> the Sims 14 probably doesn't like me very much. I'm not a game changer, so I don't get it early. I have to wait till I get it on Tuesday with everybody else. Somebody left a comment on my last video, like a really rude comment. They were like, well, you're a game changer, so you should be playing the game. And I was like, nope. I'm not a game changer, but thank you for thinking so, you ass. <laughs> Barb needs to go to work. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm ranting. Um, Barb, get up and go to work. <laughs> Hurry up. She's not going to make it. We're going to have to make her walk. She's going to be late. Go, go, go. Uh, go, hurry, hurry, run in your wetsuit. She's in her wetsuit. <laughs> No, I don't want, I'm, I'm perfectly, I'm not salty about not being a game changer. Um, I, it would be nice to get the packs early, I'm not gonna lie, but it's just, 
you know, I'm not gonna hold, I'm not gonna change my opinion just for something like that. <laughs> You'll have to start blurring my face in playbacks, yeah. <laughs> what? That wasn't me. I didn't say that. No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. Okay, uh, Margaret, let's see here. What are we going to do with you? you need, she needs to go to the store today, but we're going to move them as soon as they both get home from work. Um, she's cleaning up the house, though. They also called me sweetie, which I was like, mm. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a game changer. It's just not the path that I am taking. <laughs> for, for myself. <laughs> okay, let's go to the bathroom and let's eat some breakfast let's have a muffin let's have a muffin yeah when someone you don't know calls you sweetie it's always i'm just like okay karen <laughs> like it's just so passive aggressive I didn't know there were Brazilian game changers. That's, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, I guess they will have game changers in other countries, huh? Sweat, sweaty. <laughs> oh, floof, I forgot to, to do my frames per second. I was gonna have to like figure out how to download something to check. Like, I don't even know how to check. Um. I'm streaming it in 60 frames per second. I don't, I think I get close to 60. I don't know for sure. I don't know how to check unless I download an, an outside program. Yeah, I like those pajamas too. Yeah, I didn't even think about there being game changers in other countries, but yeah, there must be, right? That's pretty cool. No, OBS doesn't do that. Mm-mm. Obs tells me what I'm streaming in, but it doesn't tell you like what the game's getting. In Brazil, sweetie is passive aggressive too. Yeah, I'll ha I have to do use fraps for it, which I don't have fraps, so I have to, I have to get it. Um, okay, she's off to work. Look at her looking all good in her work outfit. Oh, she she works in the same. No, she doesn't work in the same career as Crystal. Crystal, why is why does it still seem like Crystal lives here? There's obviously something wrong with the apartment. Apartments are a little bit buggy in The Sims 2, but I still love them. Okay, so now we're waiting until she gets home. Uh, what time does Barbara get home? I know I looked before, 11 a.m. She gets home so early, they're never gonna be able to spend time together. Thank you so much for the seven uh, month prime sub, Bactorias. Thank you so much. I wanna get a hydrate too. All right, Barb just got promoted to dolphin tank cleaner. Now her uh, her hours have changed now. So now she works more regular hours, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's nice, that's nice. Crystal will never leave. Um, what's that? I don't know what oh midnight dancing is continuing their gift sub thank you so much midnight dancing uh all right she's still in her wetsuit <laughs> so now we're just now we just have to wait a couple hours let's see what else can we do oh they can definitely get this kitten too they can definitely get this kitten and go on a date and you want to influence someone to serve a meal go fishing and influence someone to clean. Okay, we can do none of those things. So just hang out, I guess. Do what you want. Do what you will, Barb. Do what you will. Yeah, she's an oceanography. I love apartments in The Sims 2. I love how you can build them yourself any way you want. You can turn anything into an apartment. You know, there's some limitations, but you can build your own at least. Um, I love that the other apartments are filled with Sims. There's not just like these like in the sims 3 you know how there's like those empty blocks but nobody actually lives in them I, I don't know it really bugs me and the sims 4 apartments are just as bad as the sims 3 
I was really hoping with The Sims 4, I don't know why I was hoping this, God, I should, I should learn my lesson with The Sims 4 by now, but uh, I was really hoping it would be more like The Sims 2 apartments. But they were not, they were like, more like The Sims 3 apartments, which suck. They are the best in The Sims 2. Like, they really feel like apartments in The Sims 2. And the customization options. We just keep getting less and less customization options as the game go on, goes on instead of more. It just, just makes no sense. Yeah. You're, I guess it does. I guess it does cost less money. <laughs> you're playing, you're chasing Sebastian in Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley's really fun. I haven't played it in a while, but um, I like it a lot. Sims 4 hypes you up, then lets you down. Yep. It does. It's true. Every time. Every time I'm like, okay, finally something good. I don't know why I don't learn my lesson, y'all. There's something wrong with me. I've got a problem. <laughs> I've got a problem. Like, every time I'm like, oh my god, can this be it? Can this be a good thing from The Sims 4? And then every time I'm like, nope. My heart is broken again. <laughs> I know, I'm telling you, Fernanda, I've got a problem. I don't know what's wrong with my... I don't know what's wrong with me. I really hope they don't bring back emotions. I think that was the worst thing they did. And, oh, I was going to tell you guys this. I was going to kind of make a video about this, but I'll just tell you now. I'll give you a sneak peek. So I was watching back the very first trailer of The Sims 4 that ever came out. And they were like, for the first time ever, your Sims have emotions. And I was like, what do you mean for the first time ever? My Sims and the Sims 2 have way more emotion than your piece of shit Sims 4 Sims. <laughs> like, they have so much emotion. Just because they don't have a little text box saying that embarrassed or sad or something, that doesn't mean they don't have emotion. Like, God, what is wrong with you? I just couldn't believe they said for the first time ever. I was like, really? Really? Now, I still f I still have some fun with The Sims 4. I like to build in it, um, and I like to... Challenges are okay in The Sims 4 because you have some kind of goal driving you, but I also have to have a lot of mods. I mean, I do still play it. It's just not as good as The Sims 2, and I just don't... There's no way it ever will be. Thank you so much for the three month prime sub, Dotty Oz. Yeah, and the whole thing about, like, I really feel like they did want to make The Sims 4 far more in depth than they were able to. Um, I, I, I think I told you guys about this, but, and I'm trying to, I, I want to go back and find this forum post that I read a long time ago. I don't even remember what, like, Sims forums I read it on, but it was somebody was talking about who they they used to work on The Sims 4 or they knew somebody who worked on The Sims 4. So you could take this, take it with a grain of salt. But I did kind of find it very likely what they said. And they said that they had planned to make emotions far deeper than they actually turned out. But because they had so little time to put the game together, they just basically could only do surface level shit. So it, it, they ended up being like, they planned it to be so much better than it actually was. And that makes sense to me. I feel like that happens a lot with The Sims 4. They have a lot of good ideas. And I don't know if they just don't have time or they don't have the budget or they don't have the staff. Like, I don't know. I know nothing about game production. So, um, but the, the ideas don't, aren't translated well. I can see that as an end user. Oh, yes, I know something caught on fire. We've got like one hour until Margaret gets home. Let's go, go in here and take care of some needs while we wait. Yeah, emotions in Sims 3 are better too, yeah. I think they're the best in Sims 2 though, I really do. Thank you so much for the brand new tier one sub, Crispy. Crispy. <laughs> Uh, our apartment just sat on fire. It just caught on fire. Well, that's bad. Well, that's really bad. Okay, the rain put it out. <laughs> As a game development student, Sims 4 is so embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you know, you would think they would have the budget, but maybe they're spending their budget on those dumb commercials and sparked challenges and stuff. Like, I don't know. I Like I said, I, I can't comment because I really don't understand, you know, behind the scenes, how it works, how, you know, for in-game development. I don't know. I have no experience with that. All I know is what I see on the as an end user and what we get. And I know something ain't right, because how were they able to make such an amazing game in The Sims 2? And even The Sims 3, you know, had so many, so many, like, amazing things with the open world and everything. And The Sims 4 is just, I really, truly hope it, it was the whole, uh, you know, it being an online game and then them scrapping that and having to throw together Sims 4 really quickly. And I'm hoping that Sims 5, they're going to have more time with it and they're going to be able to create a better game. That is my hope and I have to hold on to that hope. I have to hold on to that. <laughs> okay, Margaret is home. Let's see here. She wants to buy a car. I'm going to lock that sucker in. Yeah. Now I'm gonna save here. Yeah, it is, it is all about profits. It is. I mean, lots of games, especially when EA gets involved, um, lots of game franchises are just not the same anymore. I think they're just doing prototypes on Unreal Engine for Sims 5. I don't think they're gonna build it on Unreal. I don't think so. I don't know for sure, but. Okay, let's go out to the neighborhood and see if we have... I don't think we have any houses available. Except for maybe the Olive Spectre house, but I'm not going to move them in there. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't pay Epic. That's what I think, too. Okay, let's see. We got... This one's nothing, nothing. We got nothing available. We got nothing. <laughs> so we're either going to have to build a house or place a house down. I think we might just place down like a ranch retreat for now because I don't want to spend the str I don't want to spend the stream building and just let them live in there for the for the time being. Uh, Paralives is built on Unity, on the Unity engine, I believe. Do, do, do. A lot of people think Sims Five is going to be online. I do not think so. I do not think so. I know they came out and said that there's going to be online features, but to me, I think they're talking more about stuff like the gallery and stuff like that. I don't think they're going to make it a multiplayer online experience. I think they would, I think surely they know better than to do that. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. What do we, what do we have? What do we have? I'm not going to use these. Oh, this would be a good, this would be a good one for Strange Town right here. But they don't have that much money. They only have 17,000. We gotta think about that too. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've already had Sims Online, so they already know how that went. They're not gonna make another Sims Online. I don't, I truly like don't believe they're gonna do that. Um, let's, None of these really work for Strange Town, do they? Oh, well, we'll just put down Ranch Retreat and we'll fix it up or something. I don't know. We'll put it over here. Um, actually, let me see what the address is. What is this? 91 Road to Nowhere. This is 101, so this will be 81 Road to Nowhere. 81. Thank you so much for the two month prime sub, dude. Doo doo jams. <laughs> 81 Roads to Nowhere. Ranch retreat, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to get them out of the out of the motel. Let's go back in and move them out now. Yeah, the, I don't think, I really don't think they're going to make that mistake and go online with it. It might have online aspects like the gallery and stuff like that. Maybe in something more like some type of chat thing, but I don't think they're going to, I don't think they would make it forced multiplayer. I think they know better than that. All right, let's move on out. Let's move on out, Mar Marg. 
Uh, no, don't find... Oh, I gotta move them out from the... Dang it. Sorry, I gotta move them out from the neighborhood screen. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm... I, God, if they do not bring back the ability for us to customize neighborhoods and place down lots where we want to, I am gonna throw a damn riot. <laughs> I'm gonna riot in the streets, I tell ya. Because the Sims 4 neighborhoods are shit, man. I hate, like, and especially like if I wanna recreate something and I can't make the lot any bigger, it's just you have a set number of lots, those are the sizes, that sucks. That sucks for anybody who wants to be creative or build something, it's like, no. I need to be able to customize my own neighborhoods. It's just, that's a big one for me. Uh, thank you so much for the two months, Amy, pay, Amy pay. <laughs> okay, let's, Let's move them out. Move them on out. Move family. Uh, young. Move family. Yes. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to The Sims 5. Like, actually, now that I know it's probably most likely coming, um, I really hope they learn some lessons from The Sims 4 and then we get a better, better game. But I don't know. I mean, you never know. It might suck worse. I don't know what I'm gonna do with their last names. I might just let them keep their own names. Aw, thank you so much for the 1400 bits, Any. Thank you so very much. You got the special sound effect. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, li I like hearing that sound now. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm very interested in, I'm I'm uh, following Paralives very closely. I think Paralives might be more what I'm looking for in a game than The Sims 5 probably will be. And also, not only Paralives, but also the game that Rod Humble is working on. I'm excited to see what that's gonna be because I have a feeling it's gonna be a live simulator. We don't know for sure. But um, yeah, I'm excited because I know that the, uh, they're working on something. They're working on a game. And it sounds to me like it might be a live simulator, but they have not uh, announced anything, but that might be the real competitor. <laughs> yeah, well, he he's working, he's in a studio that's working on a game. The same, the same, Studio that made cities isn't the same studio that made City Skylines. It might be a different branch of it. But yeah. Yeah. We don't know for sure what he's doing. Paradox. Paradox. That's what it is. Paradox Studios. Paradox Studios is working on a, a new game. And they've been working on it for several years. And uh, he said... He, Rod Humble tweeted something the other day because I follow him on Twitter. He tweeted something about how when they announced the game, he, something about when they announced the game and I was like, yes, they're still working on it. Um, so I'm really, really hoping it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be something like what we're looking for. Okay, let's give them some furniture. It sucks that this house is not furnished and now we gotta furnish it. We have 12,000 simoleons to work with. So we're just gonna do, they started working on the sims 4 well they started working on the online sims 4 thing in 2008 i believe but then it got scrapped in 2012. this is from information that i've gleaned online so it may be i think it's as accurate i think it's accurate um but it got scrapped in 2012 and then they for two years worked on the sims 4. so it wasn't that long of a development cycle Oh yeah, Marg's inventory, very good idea. But I mean, they took a lot of assets and stuff uh, from, from the original, I don't wanna call it Sims Olympus because I feel like that's just kind of like the name they were, the working name. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? I do. Stop it, stop it. I'm trying to put this out here, dang it. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, but so I think they're going to have a... Oh, she had a stove. We can sell that. We can sell that. So I think they're definitely going to have a longer uh, time working on The Sims 5. So that can give us some hope. 
She's got a gnome. She's got a car. I, I guess we'll keep that. We'll keep that in her inventory for now. And now let's put the rest of the furniture in. Oh, and also Barb has uh, a painting that we can hang up here. She did a very nice painting when she was in college. It's lovely. Lovely, Barb. Very lovely. Um, let's put a frame on it, actually. Come here, you. Frame. Let's do a, let's do a light wood. That looks nice. All right, so let's just get them some basic furniture. Um, we're gonna do like a couch. Let's see, we're gonna go frugal with it because they don't have a ton of money and we still have to pay for the wedding. So we're gonna do quaint. They're gonna have a quaint little house <laughs> for the moment. Do, 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 do. No, maybe not quaint. I don't think that suits them. I'm just gonna pick one. Let's see. What am I trying to click on? Um, how about this? Living corner. We'll do a light wood. We'll do a... They like black and pink. Well, that's... I mean, that's a color. <laughs> that's brown! Let's see. Green, red, white, green, brown. Uh, okay, we'll do this. It's like a grayish black. All right, there's the couch. I don't know where to put this giant stereo. I guess we'll put it there. I wish I could resize it. We'll put it in the spare room for now. I don't know. Let me do the rest of the house. Let's do a TV... Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? A bookshelf? Do, 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 do. Forget where everything is. We'll do a bookshelf. Um, we'll leave that there. We'll put this... I don't know. Put it back in your inventory. Oh! We'll put that back in your inventory. Oh, she wanted to buy a bookshelf. Perfect. Is there anything else they want to buy? Oh yeah, painting, sculpture, easel. Well, we definitely need an easel because Barb's uh, hobby is painting. So she wants to get her an easel. How sweet is that? We'll get her an easel. We'll put that in the second room. Be like the hobby room for now until they have kids. And I don't like that over there, actually. I don't know where I want that. In the, in the, in the corner. Ugh, oh, I don't know. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. It just has to be enough. Let's get them a table and chairs. We can work on this more over time. Let's get them a table and chairs. Do, do, uh, what's a cheap chair? That'll work. And so they've got a couch, they've got a table and chairs. Let's move this over there. Um, they've got all their kitchen stuff. We need a trash can, don't we? We need a trash can. I'll just put that right there. And bookshelf. I don't know where I want the bookshelf, but I know one thing about this house. I don't know what Maxis's deal is with all the doors, but we do not need two doors to the bathroom, okay? We just, we don't. That's that's unnecessary. It's completely unnecessary. I hate how the shower is like out in the middle of the room too. And let's put uh, a mirror. Actually, let's do a medicine cabinet because we got plenty of money here. Let's do a medicine cabinet. No, that ca this couch is a uh, no. It's not from Snowy Escape. I think it's from Sims Three, actually. Where's the medicine cabinet? Damn it! I think it's in here. Let's see. There we are. There we are. I think there's a light in there. We need lighting in the house. So let's do lights. I'm just gonna do the cheap little ceiling lights here. One here. One here. One here. We'll put, I'm not gonna put them in the bedrooms. 
I, I know I'm so spoiled on the search on the search function in The Sims 4 when I come back to Sims 2. I'm like, I don't know where anything is. <laughs> yeah, they put so many doors in. I don't know why. Um, and actually, I think we can put this. We can put this back in the living room, right? Put it, put it right there so we can jam out. There. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. And let's get them a bed. We'll work on, you know, customizing their house more over time. Right now, I just want to get enough for them to move in. I wish I had a bedspread that was black and pink, but I don't think I do. I don't think I do. So we might just have to go with black. Not blue. I have to put it down and then I have to recolor it because you just can't see the swatches very well in this tiny little window. Sometimes I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what that even is. I need to see it on the bed, you know? That's like, that looks like a little kid's bed. So does that. That's kind of cute, but. Mar Margaret is very serious, so I don't think she would have anything too whimsical in her house, you know? I think she would have much more conservative tastes. That's cute. That's hideous. Why do I have so many bedspreads? <laughs> I can never choose. There's too many. Okay, I think we're just gonna go with a classic black. Uh, where are you? Where are you, black bedspread? We'll just go with that. And then they've got a mirror here. They need a dresser and a night table. A nightstand. <laughs> We'll do a little cheap nightstand. I don't know which way I want the bed to face. That way. Okay, we'll have the... We'll have the mirror right here and then we'll put a dresser right here. Let's see. And Mar but with Margaret being a fortune sim, she's gonna wanna buy a bunch of stuff for the house. So we'll upgrade according to her whims probably. Okay, there's a dresser for you. Um, let's get you a lamp and a curtain. Do, do, do. There's a nice lamp. Get you a curtain. I don't know why I clicked out of there. Actually, we'll get them a we'll get them a blind. No, we'll get them a curtain. I don't know. We'll get them a curtain. Just a nice black curtain. There we go. And then she wanted to buy a painting too, so let's see. Let's find them a nice painting. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I hope we have fears in The Sims 5. I really do. I, I, you know, part of me is hopeful about it and then part of me is practical and thinking it's gonna be total crap. <laughs> like, you know, I wanna stay hopeful, but then again, then again, just with the way EA's going these days, you know? She also wants a sculpture. Let's see if we can get her a sculpture too. Maybe some books. Put some books on the... And maybe uh, Barb can also fill up the house with some of her art as well. Okay. I mean, nothing really matches, but that's all right. They're young and poor and they just had to get whatever furniture they can get, you know? Sometimes you have to do that when you're young and poor, man. My first apartment was so mismatched. Nothing matched. I just got like whatever my parents let me take and then like whatever I could get from the thrift store. <laughs> my house now is mis mismatched now that I think about it too. Um, okay, I wanna put some little bushes in the front. Let's put a couple of flowers or something. No, well, you know, it's the desert, so maybe we won't. We have some cacti. <laughs> I know I do, where's my cactus? Yeah. That's kind of large though. These are big, these are big boys. We'll just put a couple of those in front. And then I might also change the color of the house from this green, I don't know. Is it green? I thought this house was blue. Why does it look green? Is it green? <gasps> oh, burglar and fire alarms and a phone too. I forgot a phone. Yeah, let's do let's do our, all of our alarms. 
Um, let's see, smoke alarm. Also, I want to do upper cabinets. Burglar alarm we'll put over here and phone. We'll put a phone right there. And uh, this floor, oh God. Green matches strange town. Yeah, it kind of does, I guess. I guess we can keep it green. Let me check the roof too. The roof is a bit large for my liking. So I think I'm gonna change the roof angle. Oh, we're gonna change that down to a 35 and then eventually I'll put trim on it and we'll fix it up, but this will work for now. Okay, their first ever home together. I, for some reason, I always thought this house was blue. I always thought this house was blue. Why is it mint green? I thought it was powder blue too, LP. I don't know why it's green. <laughs> I didn't change anything. Maybe it's always been green. You thought it was white? I thought it was blue. Um, but okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. And then what else? Oh, upper cabinets, upper cabinets. Oh, so I don't even need this because I'm going to do another alarm. Um, we're going to do this. And you know what? I don't want black. I don't want, I don't want green either. Let's do black cabinets. Let's do black cabinets like that. Let me get a... One of these. This is also an alarm and a stove hood. And then I'm gonna change these to black. Black and green? No, black and white. Black and white. Or black and, that's not really white, but whatever. It's close enough. Then let's put a little curtain here. How much money they have left? They still have 8,000 left. Or let's put a blind. Okay, not purple though. Not purple, let's see if we got a black. Not that one. <laughs> oh yeah, the sink too. This sink is, I hate having this sink in a kitchen because this is obviously a bathroom sink. You know, that is a bathroom sink. That is not a kitchen sink. So I always put the cheapest kitchen sink in which is this one. That is a kitchen sink. Thank you, thank you. And then let me change the flooring too, cause that floor is bad. Let's do some tile. We'll just do some black tile like that. Same, this, same thing that's in the bathroom. And while I'm at it, let's change the shower curtain to something. That's kind of cute. We'll go with that first one. Oh wait. That one's, I like that one. That's got black and pink on, in it. That'll work. And now I want a different sofa. Now I want to, <laughs> let me save. Now I want a different sofa. Yeah, that kitchen is so much better. It looks so much better now. Um, I was trying to go with the cheapest, but now I'm like, they've got plenty of money now. Let's find a better, let's find a nicer sofa here. Like, just a black sofa would be nice. Just black. We'll put it right there. Um, I don't like how this, like, isn't centered. Oh, God. The things are coming through the... Through the... We'll just have to move them up like that. That... See, that looks bad, though. I can't do these on a half tile. I don't know why. So I don't like that. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to take very much time at all. And now I'm taking up like the whole stream with this. I have to be happy. No, not. I love these trees, but not for Strange Town. That's way too much. I need some more smaller desert plants. You know, all the ones I have are like humongous. I already put the fire and burglar alarm. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess we're not going to have anything in the front. Oh, no, there's those little. Oh, 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 there's these. The prickly pears. We'll put the prickly pears. There we go. I'm actually going to overlap these so they don't look so... So they don't look so squarish, you know? There. 
There, that's better. We got a little, we got a little bit of something in there. <laughs> it's not, it's not much. It's not much, but it's something. Okay, I see your uh, commercial break in your meme time. We'll do both of those as soon as I finish this. All right, so there's the house so far. It's, it'll work. It'll work as their newlywed home. And we also need to get the wedding arch. So let's get the wedding arch and a cake. Um, so we'll put the wedding arch over here. We'll put some chairs out. We're gonna get them a cake. We'll put there and um, we've got the toast, the toasting thing. I'm gonna put that on the table over here. And then let's get a couple of folding chairs for the wedding so they can invite their friends over. All right, and everybody can watch, hopefully. And then we can sell these back. Wait, are those too close? Hold on. Hold on. All right, there we go. Wait, no. <laughs> no wait, yes. I don't know. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Uh, thank you so much for the brand new tier one sub, Anime Sutin69. Oh, the arch is off. That's what it is. Oh, I want it to be. There. Okay, that's better. That's better. Oh, and also they need an outdoor light. I can't stand how none of the houses have outdoor lights. Like every house has a has at least one outdoor light, right? Most houses, I mean, probably not every house, but most houses. Um, so we'll get them a little porch light here. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then I'm gonna move this like over here, and then move this kind of like that. All right, we're ready to go. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready for our lesbian wedding. I'm so excited. Mar Marg Marge and Barb. I can't say their names. What is wrong with me? Oh yeah, they need to get a cat too. They're gonna get they're gonna get a kitten. Um, but we'll do that after the wedding. We'll do that after the wedding. That'll be the first thing they do together is get a kitten. Barge and Marb. <laughs> Okay, so let's do, we got a commercial break in a meme time. We also got a shout out from Nathan for classic black, white colors and no red. Surprisingly, no red. I know. I got a little bit. Well, that's pink. Okay, that's pink. No red in there, guys. I did it. <laughs> Barg needs to get Gregante. I know. I know. We need a baby. All right. So let me see what we've got for another commercial and meme. And then we'll get to the wedding. Uh... Okay, here's a meme for you. Here's a meme. Egg. <laughs> Egg. That's the whole meme. That's the whole meme. Margaret is how. H-O-W-E is her surname. Egg. Give me an egg. I love my bae. Bacon and eggs. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nathan, for those. Okay. Um, here's one more. Oh, I think we looked at that. Did we look at that? Cindy does crowd control stream points. Adios. Adios points. I don't know if I'll ever do another one of those again. It was fun, but it was like, whoo, it was a lot. It was a lot. The young house. <laughs> the how youngs. <laughs> I want them eggies, mother. Flightless bird by ass. This MF flies hell. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Carrie. That's funny. Okay, thank you for those guys. I'm gonna find a uh, commercial now. Thank you so much for the uh, tier one sub. I'm Nocilla. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, okay, let's say Let's see commercials. Oh, I'll show the one that Simmergetic did with the Sims Two music with that uh, with that commercial we just watched. Okay, here we go. Let me get it pulled up here. Let me get it pulled up here. Here we go. Oh wait, you guys can't see it. Hold on. <laughs> I love it. 
I love it. It's so good. It's even better with the Sims 2 music. <laughs> That's my favorite move. <laughs> yes. Yes, get it. Get it. <laughs> I love the old guy waving his hand. <laughs> That's so good. It works really well. Let them perform at the wedding. This is the wedding band. This is the wedding group for the barge marb wedding. <laughs> Thank you, Simmergetic, for that. Guys, make sure you subscribe to Sim Simmergetic on uh, YouTube if you want to see more of those kind of videos. Um, I think he did another one for us, too. Let's see. Let's do a uh, part two. We got a part two. We got a part two. Hold on. Let's watch this one, too. <laughs> I like the shimmy. I like the shimmy. He's doing a shimmy. <laughs> I don't know which one I like more. I think I don't know if I like the first one. Oh yes. Get it, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Thank you for linking the YouTube channel there in the chat. <laughs> it works so well, doesn't it? Those are hilarious. I love those. Thank you, Simpergetic. I don't know if you're still in here, but uh, thank you for those. Those are very, very good. And hopefully you got some subs there. Okay, guys. All right. So now we're back. We're going back to the wedding. <laughs> yeah, LP, I think Cybergenic's the one who did that. The aerobics one. I'm pretty sure he's the one who did that, yeah. Sims 3 music? That'd be funny. <laughs> You're making a grilled cheese? You just live and breathe the Sims 2, don't you? <laughs> Now I want a grilled cheese, too. Um, okay, yeah, that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're getting back to the wedding here. Our beautiful wedding between Margaret Howe and Barbara Young. Oh, she wants a car, too. Well, we can't get a car right now. Let's do the wedding first. And then we'll try to get them a cheap car. Um, so it's... Monday at 8, but it's really not. It's really Monday at 4 p.m. So I'm going to, or Tuesday, right? And we have to change the stupid season again. But that's okay. That's all right. It's no big deal. No big deal. We're going to change the season very quickly. We're on second summer. Um, Season three. We are also, we only have three days left. And it's Tuesday at 4 p.m. So we're going to use the day setter to set the day to Tuesday. And we're going to use the set hour sheet to set it to 1600 hours. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to have ourselves a wedding. So let's have uh, Barb. Barb is going to throw the wedding party. How come she doesn't want to get married anymore? What happened to her marriage once? I didn't unlock that, did I? Oh man, she doesn't have the marriage one anymore. <sighs> That's okay, she had, you guys saw, she had it. We're doing this. I know I wouldn't have unlocked that. I don't know why she doesn't have it anymore. That's okay, She. we know she wants to. So we're doing it. <laughs> Throw wedding party. I don't think she changed her mind. I think something happened where it unlocked it or maybe I accidentally unlocked it. 
or it glitched when they moved yeah i'm just gonna do it anyway maybe she'll have the one after she throws the party you know okay so let's invite their friends rip and tank oh great i'm sure there's gonna be a fight at the party see if we didn't have a prediction going already we predicted they were gonna get in a fight tina and river um i don't know who else is friends with margaret who's friends with margaret crap i don't know i don't know but we're gonna invite these as, we'll invite some other people are there are two trista shaws does anybody remember who margaret was friends with i don't we'll just invite these four i guess well, let me check her i should have checked her friends first let's see she's friends with marion Trista Shaw, Edward, Kendall, Bella Goth, Holly Anderson. Jeez, how many friends do you have? The other Trista Shaw, Renee Andrews, Blair Mace, Tiffany Riley, River Smith. Jeez. Okay. Um, that's a lot of friends, so oh well. <laughs> She's popular. I'm not going to do the kitten yet but we will have her meet someone new okay and the way we'll do that is we'll teleport one of margaret's friends over we'll teleport marion over and then she can meet her let's see let's no not default okay we'll invite bella goth because she's definitely friends with bella now let's have her meet bella she already knows her. Okay, let's call somebody else over. Um, Marion. Marion. Okay, now go meet Marion. <laughs> go meet Marion. You already know her too? <sighs> Great. I don't see her. Okay, hold on. I don't know why she why it's not showing up like introduction, but let's um, just go chat and see if that fulfills it. Ah, the wedding's on and the guests are on their way. Okay, that counted. That counted. Oh, here we go. Come on, get married. Dang it! <laughs> she still doesn't want to get married. Um, are you, hey, are you Dr Bella? I did not say to open the champagne yet. Okay, Bella just busted it up and started doing a toast. <laughs> okay, all right, everybody's here. Well, you know what? Since you're gonna toast, we'll let them do a toast and then we'll have them go get married. A toast to you. Oh, Bella's doing a toast. The toasting thing gets a little bit annoying to me, but yes, thank you, Melba. We know who you are. We are not in need of your services. All right, before anybody else toasts, let's go and just get this wedding over with. Because <laughs> I don't think she's going to re-roll it, and that's all right. Join union. I need to get the mod where they're married instead of joined, but I forgot about it. Let's go. She kissed her romantically. No, don't do a toast, Tina. <laughs> don't do a toast. We're trying to get married here. Come on. Here we go. Oh, we didn't buy... Oh, no. <laughs> we didn't buy Margaret a wedding dress, and this is what she's getting married in. <laughs> oh, no. Um. Well, I mean, that's a choice. <laughs> That's a choice. <laughs> okay, Margaret. That's what you chose. Okay. <laughs> that's what she likes. That's right. There's nothing wrong with it. She's trying to look her best, y'all. <laughs> okay, here we go. Aww. Aww. I'm so happy for these two. It's unique. Yeah. I mean, it's hot pink. It's day glow pink. Aww. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna change it. We're gonna do no change on the last names right now. 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think maybe they'll just keep their own last names. Oh, thanks, Melba. Is that Melba's formal outfit? Melba, Melba changed it to her formal outfit. Melba was the only one who watched them get married. All of their friends stayed inside drinking champagne. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for that. Wow, Margaret. Did you guys see that? Margaret just thought Melba was hot. Margaret. Yep, sir. How dare you get in here and do this toast? I'm going to have to delete this champagne. Their friends stayed inside because of COVID. <laughs> Hot pink really gets Barb going. Okay, one toast, guys. One toast. And I'm deleting this because we need to cut the cake. Oh, she's got to go. She's got bladder desperation. You don't have time for kisses. I am deleting this. The toasting thing can get so annoying. No more toasting, okay? After uh, Barb goes to the bathroom, Bella, get out! She's gotta go, get out! Oh no! Everybody get out, what is happening? <laughs> this is a, this is a mess over here. Barb is gonna pee herself on her wedding day. You know what? No, no, don't pee yourself. Um, you know what, Bella, too bad. Get out, get out. <laughs> get out, get out, Barb needs to go. Don't play catch. Oh, oh, not you, not you. <laughs> no, what have I done? You go and you stop. <laughs> go Barb, go hurry. <laughs> Bella can pee herself, I don't care, but we're not letting Barb pee herself on her wedding day. Margaret better not cheat. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Why don't you go to the bathroom? <clears throat> River, get out! Please go to the bathroom, Barb. Please, just go pee. She's gonna pee her pants. Oh, that's a good idea. I should have allowed household only, but I don't want to. I don't want to lock the bathroom. Okay, they're gonna dance. All right, whatever. She's got a little bit of time before she pees her pants. We'll let them dance. We'll let them dance. I really want to cut the cake. River's in there just stinking up the bathroom, taking a big old dump. How dare you come to our wedding and, and stink up the bathroom? No, Bella, get out. Get out. Everybody, get out. Get. <laughs> there, now she's there. Let's check on Margaret. Margaret's got to go too. She had to go, I think she had to go number two when she pulled out the newspaper. <laughs> River, when he comes out, shitter's full. <laughs> I like that music. Okay, she's done finally. Now let's see if we can get Margaret in there before we cut the cake. <laughs> go, Margaret, go. Yes, Margaret also- everybody had to take a dump all at once. What is that? <laughs> the wedding day shits. <laughs> okay, we're waiting to- oh, she's gonna go jump rope? Are you kidding me? No, get in here and cut this cake. Cut the cake so your guests can have- I like how uh, Tank left. Tank was like, I'm out of here. Rip was being mean to him, I guess. Or he was probably being mean to Rip, to be honest with you. Okay, you get out of there. Come in here and cut this cake. We're trying to we're trying to make this party good. Um, it's a roof raiser actually. Everybody's having a great time despite the fight for the bathroom. I love the dancing in The Sims 2. I completely agree. It had the best. In The Sims 4, they can't even like slow dance together, so that's really disappointing. Aw. Okay, cake's been cut. Everybody come get a slice of cake. That's a good looking cake. <laughs> One glass of champagne and everybody's got Taco Bell bladder. <laughs> yeah, it was the champagne, it definitely was. Everybody had to go at the same time. I want cake too. I haven't had cake in so long. God, when was the last time I had any cake? It's been a long time. <laughs> I know, everybody wants cake now. It looks so good. I'm gonna go make a cake this afternoon. 
Yeah, Tank didn't go to college in my in my strange town, yeah. Only Rip went. Oh, look at you, River. River's crushing on Margaret. Sorry, River. <sighs> we got a poor River. I feel so bad for him. He went to college with Barb and Rip. She still hasn't had any decent ones, has she? Have pillow fight with Marion, dance with Marion. Okay, let's go. Oh, Marion's taking a dump now. Influence someone to talk to another sim. All right, let's influence. Let's see. Influence Rip to talk to Tina. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just trying to get her to reroll once. Man, I'm glad they didn't invite more people. Hey, Tina, what are you doing? Are you trying to steal my gnome? That's right. Get out of here. I think she was trying to steal my gnome. Okay, now she's got cleaning skill, cooking skill once. That's not helpful. <laughs> That's not, we still have another hour for her to roll a baby one, y'all. So I think we might get there. Hi, uh, Ibella. <laughs> Uh, River got reset. Okay. I'm cool with that. She wants to make a friend. Who is she close to being friends with? Nobody. Nobody at all. But hey, they're having a roof raiser of a wedding party, so that's cool. Rip and Tina met in college, and they started woohooing together. <laughs> All right, Roof Razor. The wedding party was a success. All right. And let me, I'm going to save right there. And I got to hydrate from low key. I hate beans. Really? I love beans. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. Let's have beans for every meal. <laughs> I love some I love the magical fruit. <laughs> okay, what's happening? What are you two what are you two gonna do? You need to, there's chip bags everywhere now. You remember the beans song? There's also there's beans, beans, the magical fruit, the more you eat or beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. The more you fart, the better you feel. Let's have beans at every meal. <laughs> Yeah, there's two different ones. There's toot and fart. My grandma would never say fart. She thought that was a foul word to say, so she she said toot. You could say toot or you could say poot, but you couldn't say fart. <laughs> yeah, they'll roll the want for a baby. They'll roll the. I'm pretty sure they'll roll the want. Yeah, they will roll the want for a baby. Or I wish they would roll the want for adoption. She'll roll the want for her baby, I think, because she's a family sim. Mm. My grandma was mean, though. She was mean. <laughs> she was a mean old lady who wouldn't say fart. You used to say pump? Pump? You mm. said pump instead of fart? Uh. You gotta say toot. <laughs> toot your butt trumpet. Pump it out. <laughs> Farts prove God has a sense of humor. I like that, Mary. I mean, farts are just funny. I don't care who you are, how old you are. Farts are always funny. <laughs> Pump and dump. Oh, that's something completely different. Unrelated to farts. <laughs> You've had Sims who are joined married to the same gender roll the want for adoption. I wish they would roll the want for adoption. Um, I'm pretty sure she will roll the one for baby or adoption. Let's hope. They're dancing and I can't hear the music anymore. Let's see if we can work on having her roll. You know what? In the morning, we'll adopt a cat and maybe that will get her to roll it after we get her a cat or a kitten. Aw, thank you so much for six months at tier one, Acid Jane. Happy subversary to you. <laughs> I love the fart, Becky. I love the fart right at the perfect time. You had a teacher that wouldn't let you say suck. Yeah, because I mean, it can it can sound like a foul. I mean, it can be foul, but you know. <laughs> I, I want I ha wow, they are getting down to it. 
I don't know what happened to the music. I really don't. Um, let's see. It's midnight, though, and I think they have to go to work tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah, you have to go to work tomorrow, and you have to go to work tomorrow. So we need to, we need to wind things down. Why don't you go have another piece of cake? And you, uh, we'll turn this off, take a shower, and hit the, hit the hay. She can't yet. She's not tired enough. If you get The Sims 2 off eBay, you need to get a disc that also has a code. With it. it not a, a key. It needs to have a product key with it. Or you won't be able to install it. If you just, you can't just get a code because there, you, there's no way, there's, you can't just like put in a code and get The Sims 2. That's not, Sims 2 is not available like that. So you have to get the disc. <laughs> okay, you, can you go to sleep now? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, let's see. We can work. I guess we can work on her skills. God, it's going to take so long for her to get any skills. Creativity, cooking, or charisma. I guess just watch some cooking channel. She's not going to watch cooking channel because her fun's all the way filled up. All right. Study cooking. And you, uh, go take a shower. You still have the case with four discs in it. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any of my old Sims 2 discs anymore, which I'm really sad about. I wish I would have kept them. Uh, once I got the Ultimate Collection, I just got rid of all my discs. But now I'm trying to rebuild my collection from eBay just to have them. And just to have them, you know. Just to own them. Can you go to sleep yet? Yeah, you go to sleep. And you go to sleep. Everybody go to sleep in this house. It's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> yes, thank you, Golden Breath. That's absolutely true. Don't buy a code for an old game. If you're buying it on eBay, you need to buy the disc that comes with the product key. But don't buy a code because it's a scam. You still have a large collection of PS1 games. I have none of my old PS1 games, but I did rebuy some of them on uh, on my PS4. So I have them like in my library. So that's nice. I love old PS1 games. My favorites. I've been wanting to play a Tomb Raider, the first Tomb Raider for PlayStation 1. I've been wanting to play that again lately. I used to have so much fun with that when I was young. Oh, Barb, you got to get up. You got to get up, Barb time for you to get ready for work get up and go to the bathroom let's hope she re-rolls her once when she gets up when they but when they get home from work today we are going to get a kitten i'm going to play uh sim i'm going to play the console version of, of sims 2 eventually i'm going to get it i'll probably play it on emulator I love, uh, I've rebought several of my favorite old, um, PlayStation 1 games. Cool Borders, I love, I freaking love Cool Borders, Cool Borders, so much fun. Tomb Raider, I love the old, uh, Final Fantasies for PS1. Okay, let's see, do you, I don't think you have time to get any breakfast. You'll just have to hang out. She wants to stay home from work. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess we're staying home from work today. She can stay home from work and adopt a kitten. Yeah, you know what? It bothers me that they don't make the bed in The Sims 4, too. Aw, she must have a good reputation. So when the, car the carpool gets here, we have to keep her from getting on it. Margaret wants to go to work. Margaret wants to toss the football. Um, but Margaret needs to go to the bathroom and get herself some breakfast. Let's see. No, no, you're not going to work. I was gonna have her have some cereal. There you go. Oops. Sorry, I didn't turn my ringer off while my phone's ringing. 
You are not going to work. Come back. You're staying home from work. Take off your wetsuit. <laughs> yeah, they don't give out the ultimate collection anymore on Origin, unfortunately. It's too bad. Nope, you're staying home from work today because that's what you want to do with your life. You want to stay home from work, clean up the cake. <laughs> Oh, you have issues with mods in this uh, with the Sims 2 discs. I'm really glad I got the ultimate collection when I did. Yes, I hear you, Carpool. I'm not going to work, so just leave. I wish I could just click on it and be like, no, leave. I don't want to go to work today. Yeah, I found I got it in 2014 when they were uh, whenever the Sims 4 was released. And, it, and the, the code was, I love The Sims or something like that in Origin. And then it gave you the full Ultimate Collection. And I was overjoyed. Because that was the first time I ever had all the expansions and stuff packs. Because before that, I didn't have everything. Oh, yeah, we can sell the wedding stuff. That's true. And uh, then I, I, and I remember I played The Sims 4 base game the day it came out. I was so freaking over the moon excited about The Sims 4, and I played it the first day it came out, and I was like, what in the hell? <laughs> what in the hell is this? And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go play The Sims 2 instead. So then I <laughs> so then I started playing The Sims 2 very seriously at that time. Okay, Margaret's going to work today, but you're staying home. You can clean up the house, um, clean this up. When The Sims 4 first came out, it was like the worst. It was the worst. I was shocked by like how bad it was. <laughs> I didn't mind about no story progression and stuff because I am I was used to The Sims 2. So, I mean, I played The Sims 3 a lot, but turn that off. I can't hear. I, I didn't care about there not being any open world or story progression. It's just there was nothing else. <laughs> there was nothing else. Let's serve breakfast. Let's make some yogurt. It was just so, like, boring. It was really bad at the start, yeah. And I was so excited. Yeah, not having toddlers, that really upset me. I was like, what? Babies aging up straight to children? It was, it sucked. It was so disappointing, you know? It was so disappointing. No, no family tree. I didn't, pools, I was like, yeah, I don't really care that much if there's no pools. We'll get them eventually. And we did. Um, but the having no toddlers thing was really hard for me to s swallow. Because I love playing families. Yeah, the, no NPCs, yes. No NPCs, no lore. The the family, the na the families, the neighborhoods, everything was just. I mean, you know what it is. You know how it is. And I remember playing the Sim. I remember when the Sims Three base game came out. I played it on the day it came out too, and I was just like blown away by the Sims Three. I didn't even think they were ugly at the time. Now I'm like, ooh, Sims 3 Sims, in my opinion, are not very good looking. But at the time, I, I didn't care. Because it was so cool that you were finally able to like make a Sim that was fat and stuff. Yeah. They did make toddlers good, but look how long it took them. I think they should have taken another two years to work on The Sims 4, and it may have actually been a good game. I think they should have po postponed it and not released it until 2016. That's what I think. And then they would have had time to put in toddlers, pools, all the things, you know, the NPCs. Like, they could have actually made it a good game. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. What do we want to do now? You did stay home from work, so I hope you get that. Have a good reputation. We can't do any of these things, so all right, we're getting a kitten. So I'm actually going to do this over the phone because we don't have any cats in the neighborhood to create a kitten from the baby from the baby creator pet creator thing. So we're going to have to call up 
And then I don't even know if we're going to get a kitten in either. Well, let's try it. Let's call up the pet adoption service and see if there are any kittens. We may not. We may just have to get a cat. We may just have to get a cat. I'll probably stream The Sims 3 again, yeah. I will. Whenever I just... Whenever I feel inspired to play it again, I will. Um, let's see. Pet adoption service. The parent the parenthood expansion is good, but I mean, what's in there is good, but it, I don't know. I expected more out of it, to be honest with you. Let's see. No, nope, this is a full grown cat named Clark. Well, I guess we're going to have to adopt Clark, <laughs> the cat. He's a genius. He's aggressive. Wait, how can he be friendly and aggressive? Okay. Um, Clark it is. And then I'll just force this to be fulfilled because there's no way she can get a kitten right now. Clark can't. <laughs> yes, I want to adopt Clark. Bring him here. Bring him here. And then I'm going to force this to... Forgot how to do it. Is it control, alt, shift? Why is it not working? I thought it was control, but that's not working. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I always have testing cheats on. Um, all right, here's- oh, Clark! Oh my goodness, Clark, what are you doing? He's flailing around on the street. Clark! He's like- he's like Laszlo. <laughs> I should have named him Laszlo. It doesn't work on some once? Really? This is the first time it's ever not worked for me. Yeah, but it's definitely not working, so... Oh well, I'll just unlock it. We did our best. Let's get the cat supplies. Yeah, it's not working. Let's get the cat supplies. We're gonna get a bowl for our little kitty, our little kitty cat. Where's the cat bowl? There it is, it has fish on it. Okay, there's the bowl. We need a cat toy, which we'll put over here. And we need a litter box. Okay, which we'll put... I'm gonna actually get the pinkish colored one. We'll put that there. Oh, maybe it doesn't work while I'm paused. Maybe that is it. Okay, I'll try it when I when I press play. And let's get... Let's get a cat tree. Let's get a cat tree and put it in here. There we go. Okay. Okay. Nope, it still doesn't work. It still doesn't work, I don't know. I tried it with alt, I tried it with control, I tried it right click and left click. Oh! She just re-rolled it. I did, that didn't do it, but she just re-rolled it. Okay, well Clark is here. Clark is part of the family. <laughs> yes, testing cheats are always enabled in my game. Oh, is the bowl blocking the phone? Um, then we'll just move the phone. Move the phone over here. Let's fill up the bowl. Get over here and fill up the bowl. What does she want now? Electronic entertainment! Oh, you guys are going to spend up all your money. One of Margaret's column is Sally O'Neill submits a story that has a lot of potential but is full of errors and the deadline is now. This isn't the first time Sally has presented a sloppy column, but it's difficult to scold her. She's the publisher's niece. Should Margaret rewrite the column completely or call Sally into the office to fix her own work? Margaret's going to tell Sally to fix her own damn work. I know Margaret would do that. He pays Margaret third... 37,000 simoleons! <laughs> oh my god, as a bonus! <laughs> wow! Okay, they have now just become the richest family in town. Woo! Yeah, they can definitely get a bigger house. I think they're gonna... No, Clark! No, Clark! I think they're gonna stay here for now. 
Um, scold for destroying the furniture, please. I think they're gonna stay here for now. Um, cause I don't wanna move them again during this stream, but they definitely will be moving again. Um, and also I'm gonna get them a desk and a computer now so that they can invest this money and get some interest on it. You know, they need to get, they need to start making some interest, getting some interest. So we're gonna get a desk. Oops, hopefully we're not gonna put the desk into the wall. So when they have a kid, they can move. And where's the chair for this? Where's the ch where's the chair? There it is. Let me turn off. Okay, and let's get a computer. Wow, I really chose the right I really chose the right option there. There we go. 2000. You can spend 2000 on a computer. They need a light in here too, by the way. Let's put a lamp. There we go. All right, now come and invest. In Actually, we'll have Margaret do the investing. She's the fortune sim, so I think she would handle that. Yeah, level nine chance card, either get rich or fired. <laughs> I chose the right one, thankfully. All right, she likes her new computer. I'm glad you like it. Man, uh, Clark is crazy. He's a crazy cat. <laughs> is he? He's an adult, right? Yeah. He's got 25 days until he's elder. <laughs> okay, write in your diary, I guess, if that's what you want to do. I also want to have her cook something for when Margaret gets home. The least she can do. I better lock this in so to make so we can make sure she gets that. But so far, no one wants to have babies or adopt. You finally got enough points to fart. <laughs> yeah, I'll save. Good point. I'll save. All right. <laughs> the sound of the pin? I did save. You guys are behind. <laughs> I love Clark, too. Yeah, I already saved, guys. I just now saved. Yes, I know. <laughs> I saved already. You're usually only, like, two seconds behind, though. Um, okay, Clark. Clark is just hanging out, terrorizing. There's, a, there's like, a two-second delay. But um, that seemed like a longer delay, so maybe it was Twitch. <laughs> Twitch is acting weird for you, lagging and stuff. I swear it's been having issues for the past couple weeks. I hope it doesn't bug on us either. My stream health is 100%. I'm doing, I have no dropped frames or anything, so maybe it's just Twitch servers lagging behind. <laughs> you really didn't want to lose that 37,000, I know. The issues haven't been fixed for you. I don't know. Maybe it's just some people. Like, maybe it depends on your location. I don't know. Uh, we got a beg for gift sub. Uncanny Eddie is begging for gift sub in the chat. If any chat in the chat in the chat, if anybody feels <laughs> generous, Uncanny Eddie, good luck. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Barb wants to stargaze. You know what that means? She might get abducted. She also wants to look at her neighbors through the telescope. All right, go ahead. Go look at your neighbors. I don't care. <laughs> you're going to get uh you're going to get shoved. I don't know how you can see any of your neighbors when this is behind the house, but all right. Alien baby. I hope so. She's going to go out. She's going to uh she's going to stargaze tonight, y'all. She's going to stargaze tonight. She also wants to get a car. They both want to buy a car, and I think we can definitely afford a car for them. Aw, oh, thank you so much for the 540 bits, Rocket Queen. I really appreciate that. Thank you. She wanted to look at her neighbors, and she wanted to stargaze. So we're, right now I'm letting her look for her neighbors, but she's also, look at her neighbors, but she's also going to stargaze. And I'm also going to buy them a little car. I'm going to get a... I'm going to get a... 
driveway go in here. And we're gonna buy them a car. They have plenty of money to afford it. Let's see. What kind of car would they have? How about a... I don't know. A Honda Civic? A Honda Civic, a Ford Explorer, um, a Ford Taurus... A Nissan X-Trail. Vidkin's gonna beat her up. Toyota RAV4. Um, I think I'm gonna do something practical like a Honda Civic. We're gonna get them a black Hon Honda Civic. There we go. Perfect. So this is a perfect little car for them. <laughs> Honda Civic sounds like Barb, yeah. She wants to juggle now. Are you looking at your neighbors? Yeah. <laughs> look, look at your neighbors. She's like, oh, what's going? I don't know how she's. See she must be looking straight through the windows. Yeah. <laughs> she's looking straight through the windows. I don't know how she could look at anything else. She's not at a good angle. You had an '80s Ford Taurus growing up. We had one of the when I was a kid. When I was really little in the '80s. We had one of those station wagons that has the wood paneling on it. <laughs> I am not kidding you. I know she's rolling no family once. She's rolling a bunch of pleasure once. She's looking at her own house. <laughs> I know. I know. Look. I think she's she's got to be looking through the through this window and then through the front window. <laughs> Caught Clark licking himself. Clark, bad kitty. Okay, that didn't count as looking at neighbors. So um, let's turn it this way. Let's see if she can get some action that way. <laughs> look through. See if you can see anything down there. It looks like you could probably look into the Smith house. Your grandma had one of those wood paneling cars too. I can still smell it. I still remember how it smells, like the vinyl inside of it. Okay, that counted. She saw something. She saw something down there. <laughs> Good for you. <sighs> Buy a TV costing three thousand. You know you're not gonna squander away the family money on expensive TVs. <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, smart investing has increased our family funds by 1,069 simoleons. I'll take it. Oh, Margaret just returned home with 912. Oh, here comes Vidkin. <laughs> she saw Vidkin. <laughs> He's mad. Oh, Clark. Clark, for the love of God. Stop it. Hold on. Scold for We're going to have to train this cat. She's trying to suck face. Yeah, Vidkin's mad. Well, excuse me, okay? You shouldn't live in the line of sight of my telescope. <laughs> Aw, she's crying. Barb, poor Barb. Oh, look, Margaret wants to get a promotion. Cool. She also wants to buy a pet bed. Okay, we can buy a pet bed, I guess. We can buy a couple of things with your money. We'll buy, we'll buy one of these. Let's see, do we have one that matches? I guess this one's all right. But where the heck are we going to put this thing is huge. I guess we'll put it in here for now. That counts. And oh, they're going to go. Okay, they're going to they're going to go have a an after work woohoo here. <laughs> Might as well. Why not? Why not? And I'm trying to see what else. We're not going to buy the 3,000 simoleons. We're not going to buy a bubble blower. We don't have any room for that. They both do want to buy a game system, though. So maybe we'll get them a game system. When they move, we will pack all this stuff up and bring it with them. So, yeah. Margaret deserves it. She got a big bonus. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to buy them a game system. And then that's it. You guys have bought enough. You bought enough stuff. Man, I really need some recolors of this game simulator. Uh, because it's hideous. <laughs> this teal color is hideous. Okay, we're gonna move this right here. I'm gonna move this right here. I hope that all works out. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, I need an expensive one? Aw, oh, crap. Aw, oh, crap. How much did she want? How much did she want? 1500 So basically a pinball machine is what she wants. Okay, no. No, you can't have a pinball machine. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub Rye Bread. Uh, Sims 2 is my favorite game. I prefer Sims 2 over Sims 3. I do enjoy Sims 3, but... Wait, what just happened? They, she just got a negative... Do you see that? Oh, because I sold the thing. So Barb wanted the one that was cheaper. I, I could have kept that, I guess. Hello, Matthew Howe. <laughs> Aw, Clark. Clark acts just like Laszlo, I swear. I think this is this is Laszlo in sim form. He acts just like I need to show you guys Laszlo. I, I haven't shown him on stream in a while. He is big. He's a big boy now. He's like almost fully grown. I hope they make Sims 5 more like Sims 2 also, but I wouldn't hold my breath on that. Yeah, I have a black kitty d named Laszlo. His name is Laszlo Cravensworth. And then sometimes, whenever I want him to come to me, I say, Cravensworth? <laughs> and then he looks at me like I'm stupid and, and goes back to what he was doing. <laughs> Yes, he got the, he he got his little cat flaps. It's so cute. <laughs> he is um I don't know I think he's like eight eight or nine months now. He was born in June. So what is that? No, he can't only be six months. Six. I guess he's only seven months. Jeez, I can't believe that. He feels older than that. Hey Margaret, is Barbara available to talk? I guess so. Uh, I'll try to get him in here but before the end of the stream. Um he acts just he acts and looks just like Clark. He's a he's a wild cat. <laughs> okay, who is calling you and why? And what do they want? Oh man, she's starving. We got to get her some food. Okay, hang up. You don't have time to talk on the phone to this dude. You got to eat. Um, let's serve dinner. Let's make some goopy carbonara. He's still- I know he's still a baby, but he feels like he's- he's so big now. I was like, he's like a year old, but no, he's not. He was born in June. Or no, he wasn't born in June. We got him in June. He was eight weeks old when we got him, so he's actually nine months old. He's nine months old. I'm sorry. He's nine months old. I'm starting to lose hope that she'll roll the baby one too. But after she eats, we're gonna send her out to stargaze. Oh, good for you, Margaret. Getting a cleaning skill, cleaning the toilet. Clark, shush. You're so loud. <laughs> he is, he's growing up so fast. I was just looking at pictures of him the other day when we first got him and he was like so tiny, he could just fit in my hand. And now he's a big boy. Okay, you go to the bathroom, get yourself some carbonara. We gotta send Barb out to the telescope. Oh yeah, Margaret needs to invest money. We'll do that after dinner. We'll do that after dinner. We will... And we will uh, put in 30,000. We'll invest 30,000. You think the mod that uh, mixes adopt a baby with have a baby messes with how they're both rolled? Mm. Oh, I'm glad, Kristen. I'm glad I got you through your workout. Thank you so much for the hundred bits, anime Sutan sixty nine. Oh, your cat got cancer. I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, Barb. Um, if you're done eating. She's always got to go to the bathroom at the most inopportune times. We've got to get her out to stargaze. She's not going to last very long because she's tired. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. I I don't remember my gay couples ever rolling a want to adopt. I, <coughs> uh, to adopt. I really wish they would. <laughs> okay, 30,000 is uh, invested. Margaret is going to take a shower and go to sleep because she has to go to work tomorrow. And then Barb is going to go spend her night stargazing. And we're going to see if we can find... She also needs to take a shower, but she can do that later. Maybe she'll get abducted and we'll get super lucky. <laughs> I hope. I would like for them to have an alien baby because otherwise I don't know how else, how else they're gonna have a baby if she doesn't roll a want. Your gay sim did roll the want to adopt after she got married? Okay, that's good. That's good. So it happens for some people. So there's a possible. oh, here's a re-rolls. Oh, dang it. She wants to look at her neighbors again. I'm not even gonna lock that in. Your gay couples do roll it sometimes. The family gay sims always roll. Well, she's the she is gay. She is family. She's gay. She is a family gay sim. So I'm hoping that that will do it for us. She's very nosy. She's very nosy. I'm gonna let her stay out here as long as we possibly can. I'm gonna speed this up. Yeah, it doesn't... Oh, we we discovered a star. All right. That's great. But I mean, I'd rather you get... I would rather you get abducted. <laughs> yeah, the pleasure ones are strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess we shouldn't have given her a secondary aspiration yet. Yeah, but she does... The, she is young. That's true. She's got 39 days left. But that doesn't help for those of you who voted in the prediction. <laughs> She wants to stay home from work. Yep, I'm going to lock that in. She can stay home tomorrow. Okay, it's because she's going to be really tired. She's like, oh, man, there's no way I can go to work now. Um, I've been out here stargazing all night. Okay, a little bit longer. Okay, you got to go. I know, you're exhausted. Um, <laughs> Just go to sleep. I hope she doesn't starve to death. That would be ter- Oh, my God, that'd be so terrible if she starved to death, wouldn't it? I'm not going to let her starve to death. I'm going to keep an eye on her. She's got to go to work in an hour. She's not going to work. Definitely not. Okay, Margaret. Uh, you're good. Margaret just wants to get a promotion, which she needs a lot of skills for. Oh, no, Barb. I'm so Barb's having nightmares. Barb's having nightmares. She's doing really bad. Okay, okay. Get up. Get something to eat, please. Um, get leftovers. We'll have Margaret clean this up, clean up, mop up. Oh. Um, I'm pretty sure they can get ab abducted anytime after. I thought it was 7 p.m. I thought it was 7 p.m. I thought we had this discussion before and we looked it up. Um, alien abduction. Let's see. I thought it was seven, but I might be wrong. Does it even say on here? I remember we had this same conversation in a stream one time, but I don't know where we ever found the information. I'm looking on the wiki right now, but I don't think it says on here. I don't think it said. I know we've. I know we've had it, but I never remember. I never remember what the result of the conversation is. What are you doing? Play with the cat. Um. No. 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 Go. Why didn't you eat? <laughs> Go get leftovers, please. It was eight p.m. <sighs> I'm looking on the wiki real quick to see, but it, I don't think it says. I don't know where we found the answer. Okay, eat that. Actually, eat some goopy carbonara. You are hungry, girl. You need a big old plate of goopy carbonara this morning. <laughs> Let's see. Alien abduction times.
A sim can be abducted at any time during the night as long as they're stargazing. Okay, that's on WikiHow, so I don't really trust that. This says 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. on Reddit. Um, but I don't know how accurate that is either. I always thought it was after 7 p.m., and I don't know where I got that information from. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to look in the, uh... Maybe I'll try to look in the Prima Guide, because I have the Prima Guides. Nothing like Goopy Carbonara at 8 a.m. What, somebody answered? Oh, it says earliest hour is 19 and latest is 3. So 7 to 3? So it's 7 to 3, okay. Okay. 7 to 3. I knew, I thought, I, I was pretty sure it was 7. Okay, uh, what are we doing here? You go here, you take a shower. She ate freaking goopy carbonara and she's still hungry. We're gonna have to eat some more. I really neglected her, keeping her out all night. So now I have to try to get her needs back up. <laughs> No, I think it, it can happen any time that you're stargazing during those hours. And I, the way the original game works, I believe that it... I don't know if it decreases or increases. Never mind, I don't know what I'm saying. <coughs> I know I have a mod that impacts it. So I don't know what the standard behavior is. She just has a big stomach. I think it maybe it maybe in the non-modded game... It, it gives you a, it rolls a chance every time, but I think I, it, the mod that I use, it like increases the chance over time. Yeah, it's hard to feel the hungry, hunger need, especially if they get like really desperately hungry. Um, yeah, Sims 5 is definitely being worked on, I believe. No, I don't think it'll be here soon. I think it'll be at least two or three more years. That's, that's my prediction. Could be wrong, but I think it I think it definitely will be. A couple more years. Okay, go do this, take a shower. We're gonna get you back to sleep. No, she doesn't need a higher logic skill. I don't think the logic skill really has anything to do with abduction in The Sims 2, but somebody tell me if I'm wrong. Thank you so much for the two months at tier two, D. Connor. Thank you so much. The reason why I don't like getting a better bed is because then they get all the sleep they need in like three hours. <laughs> so right now I'm trying to make them sleep more. Thank you so much for the seven month prime sub, Melanie356. They receive aspiration points from completing once. Completing these once. See if you hover over them, it says plus 500 aspiration, plus 100 influence. That's how they get aspiration points. I would rather them take their time and do it well too, Mary. I really would. Look for UFO. Yeah, it does increase it. Yeah, but she can't do that. She can't do that, so. But I do have a mod that increases the chance of abduction, so. Alright, Margaret, what can we do with you now that Barb's asleep? Let's see. Let's work on your cooking skill. What do you want to get here? Cleaning? That does not help us. We're going to work on your cooking skill uh, for your promotion, since she wants to get a promotion. We can wish that Sims 5 was like Sims 2 and Sims 3 combined, but I seriously don't think so. I I don't know. Like I like I said part of me is hopeful and part of me is like there's no way it's going to be good. <laughs> They're going to milk Sims 4 for a while longer, definitely. I say 2 years. I think 2 to 3 years. We might get an announcement in the next year or so. I don't know for sure, of course. This is just all speculation. 
They've already been milking it five years too long. I know. I know. I agree with you. It's time to move. It's time to just cut our losses and move on. <laughs> Barb missed work today. I know she did. She's going to get fired. She's she's going to end up getting fired. Oh, yes. She wants to stargaze again. That's great news for us. I'm going to let her sleep like as long as she will so that she can be up all night. I know sometimes uh, I'm really surprised about that, Max. Like sometimes I'll have a, a record number of viewers and like I'll, like while I'm streaming, I'll be thinking, man, there must not be very many people in here because the chat's like pretty quiet. And then I go look at my analytics. There was like 600 people in here. <laughs> I got a lot of lurkers. That's OK. It's perfectly fine to lurk. Lurk all you want, guys. I am also a lurker in streams. When I watch streams, I usually don't chat. Because I'm usually I'm doing other stuff too. There's nothing wrong with lurking. Okay, let's answer the phone. Who's calling? Who's calling? What do you want? What do you want from us? <laughs> you cleaned your bathrooms? <laughs> I hate cleaning so much. I hate cooking and cleaning. Like I'm not a domestic person oh, <laughs> at all <laughs> yeah i watched the paranormal stream you were simply the coolest sim i met in ages i'm gonna spread the word to everyone i know margaret your reputation is on the way up thank you holly anderson that was holly anderson <laughs> i don't like baking or cooking i don't like anything in the kitchen i don't even like to go in the kitchen <laughs> Unless somebody's serving me food. Uh, um, you should be able to watch the paranormal stream back right now on YouTube or on their Twitch channel. Unless they took it down for some reason. I don't think they would have done that. I know, I was really disappointed in the in the paranormal investigator career, and I'm hoping that they're just really bad at showing things in the stream and then there's there's going to be more to the career i don't know i am going to be playing it um i will show it to you maybe we'll even do a stream so if you guys want to really see what it's like and really ask questions that i know you want the answer to not that they're trying to shove down your throat <laughs> we can do it uh on a stream and you guys can we can explore it together and i'll probably make some videos about it too I'm not going to do a reaction video to the stream because I've already made several videos about it and I'm just going to wait till it comes out on Tuesday. I will be doing a review video and maybe a gameplay video. I don't know. I'll have to get my hands on it and see what what I want to make a video about and I'll probably do at least one stream. We'll see how it goes. Let's see. Get some leftovers. Clark sleeping on the bed. Oh, that's so cute. Let's check in on Barb. Oh, she's fully rested. She's going to be able to, to to stargaze all night. Let's go ahead and get her up. Let's get her up and get her some dinner <clears throat> so that she is fully prepared. Um, Let's see. And she can eat dinner with Margaret. What did I click on? Get leftovers. Okay. I hate doing dishes and cooking and cleaning and all of that. I hate all of it. I don't want to, I just, it's so boring to me. Like, I just have better things to do. <laughs> well, you have to keep in mind, too, that when when they're sh doing the streams, the Sims 4 streams, they're not experienced streamers. They're just regular people trying to show a game on the stream. <laughs> You're ignoring your dirty dishes right now. Thank you so much for the uh, brand new tier one sub bathtubby. Thank you. A late stream hype. Yes. And thank you for the 200 bits midnight dancing. Yeah, I know, Golden Breath. I noticed that too. It's, you have to think about how they're working. Like the Sim Gurus, like they work on specialized parts of the game. And I, I truly think that most of them probably don't play the game like we play it you know so they're they don't know as much as maybe some of us would know about the game that's what i think i think they have very specialized parts of the game that they understand that they focus on in their job 
I know some of the sim gears do play the game outside of work, but I think some of them don't. Don't actually play the full game, you know? Okay, it's 7 11 p.m. Let's it's time for us to go stargazing. Hope hope for the best. Hope for the best. I don't know, maybe we'll try a date. We can try a date. That's a good idea. Um, after the stargazing and all that, we can try a little home date and see if they see if they roll anything. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for the five gift subs, Kristen. Thank you so much for giving those gift subs to Batkin, Sly Negris, Brybear689, Sing and Sleep, and Bunny Lee. Yeah, I have no issues with the Simgurus as people. They're just normal people doing their jobs. Like, I have no hate for them or anything. I think that sometimes uh, players expect too much of them as individuals, you know? They're just working on a game. They're just doing their jobs. I never watched any of The Sims 3 streams. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing when Sims 3 was out. I just would usually... I don't know how I used to find out about the new expansions. I think I would just, like, Google it. <laughs> You can be a nice person and still be bad at your job. That is true. <laughs> you can. <laughs> there, I know there are some of them who worked on The Sims 2, which that really boggles my mind. Like, how could you have worked on The Sims 2 and then contributed to The Sims 4? I don't know. But like I said, we don't know, like, what their actual duties are, what how their jobs work. Like, we don't know. We don't know how much they're responsible for. <laughs> yes, they used to announce the next expansion in the bo in the box of the game. Yeah, they used to do that in Sims 2. <laughs> I would never work for EA. <laughs> never. Ever, ever in a million years. If they if they came to me like this would never happen, but just if they came to me and they were like We'll pay you a million dollars a year. I'd be like, nope. You can take that and shove it. <laughs> Barb's not roll of the want, y'all. She is stargazing, though. But, but we'll try to do a date. I know we don't have much time left in the stream, but we'll see if we can fit one in. I also worked a corporate job, and I will never do it again. Ever. I will never work for another person again, ever. I can't do it. I can't handle it. It's only 10, it's only 10 p.m. again now. Oh, she's making tons of money out here. She's gonna have a really strong science enthusiasm. All right, what are you doing, Margaret? Why are you not asleep? Why are you, what are you, what? Okay, go to the bathroom. <laughs> How's Clark doing? He's doing all right, I think. He's doing all right. Okay, go to the bathroom. Get yourself some food. We're not. We're just gonna ignore the phone. I know she made like two k. She's she's racking up the money, stargazing. <laughs> okay, get yourself some yogurt and then you can go to sleep. And we just have a couple more hours of stargazing. I really wish she would get abducted, but doesn't look like it's gonna happen for us. Can she only just stargaze? She can search for constellations, but I don't think that... I don't think they can get abducted doing that. I'm a free agent, too. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Oh, God. Okay, well, she's getting a lot of logic skill out of this, I guess. We got, like, an hour and a half left. Oh, another 500 from stargazing. Okay, one more hour. One more hour. Come on. Let us get abducted at the last minute. Nope. That's it. That's it. We're sending her inside. Well, we will have... I don't know if we're going to have time for a date. Dang it. I wanted to try a date. But I don't know if we're going to have enough time. Uh, she needs social so bad. You know what? Go play with Clark. 
Go play with Clark. Go do a finger wiggle or something. Okay, cat teaser? Oh, Clark, you're yowling. <laughs> yeah, there's no aliens in Strange Town. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I'll make her I'll make her juggle. Wait, doesn't she have to don't they have to have a thing for her to juggle? Oh no, we need to fill up the cat bowl. But she was already going to do that. I think they have to have a machine a espresso machine to juggle, don't they? Hype train complete at level two. Your community contributed a total of eight sub gifts and 200 bits. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. No, I wasn't nervous about starting Twitch because I had already streamed before on YouTube for a while, for like a year. So I wasn't really nervous about starting on Twitch. Um, no, I was nervous the first time I ever streamed. The first time I ever streamed was on YouTube. Yeah, and it was a disaster. And uh, yeah, I was really nervous about that. And I was nervous for like the first couple of times, but um, now I'm not nervous at all. Oh, they can get bottles. Oh, that's right. They can juggle bottles. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Get over here and juggle. She's brushing her teeth. <laughs> I started streaming to like 20 or 30 people. My first stream, I was like, if I get 20 people, I will feel, you know, like a success. So I think I had like 30 people in my first ever stream on YouTube. And it was pretty nice. Oh, maybe she'll roll. I'll try to get, oh, here we go. Here we, no, sorry. <laughs> she just wants to reach logic level eight, which means more stargazing. And she wants to go on a date. So Margaret, wake up. It's time for a date. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a date at 5 a.m. Does Margaret have to go to work today? I think she does. Um, yeah, she was off yesterday, but Barbara had to sleep all day yesterday. So she doesn't go till 9 a.m. We got time. Get over here. <laughs> Get over here. Let's do a date real quick to end the stream. <laughs> yes, Anthony. Anthony was one of my first streams. I miss Anthony. We're gonna have to bring him back for something. He's in Edgewood too. I'm gonna play Edgewood eventually again. Um, I just need to do some work on it first and I haven't been like felt inspired to do that. Uh, let's see, ask on dates and we're just gonna have a little home date here and see if we can stir anything up. <laughs> I agree, Bella. Well, I mean, I'm happy with how my channel and stream have grown too. <laughs> Hello, we're on a date now. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Um, we want to dance. Of course, we want to dance, pl tickle, talk, all that mess. Okay, so let's do gossip. Let's do a sexy tickle. <laughs> let's let's hope. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> I like uh I li I'm having fun with the random legacy challenge too in The Sims 4. I'm like now I'm attached to my Sims, so I'm not gonna stop doing that until it's done, I guess. I, I already have Anthony. I made Anthony in The Sims 4 for a challenge that I started doing. Um But I don't know what I'm gonna do with him yet. Entertain, let's do a dirty joke. <laughs> Art. Slow dance, tickle, tell joke, entertain. Oh, get some better wants, people. Get some better wants. Yeah, I'll stream Edgewood here on Twitch. I'm not gonna stream on YouTube anymore. Um, since I'm not doing channel memberships anymore, there's really no reason for me to stream there. Appreciate. Oh, we just got 1,800 simoleons of interest. Uh, we're gonna admire. No, the carpool will arrive. I don't care. Barb's not going to work today. We got more important things to do. Yeah, the poverty challenge was a real challenge. No want, Barb. Oh, she wants to woohoo, of course, but that doesn't help us very much, does it? Okay, well, um, we'll do that. That doesn't help us very much, but go ahead. Have at it. <laughs> So close.
so close. Well, Margaret's a fortune sim. That's why she's getting fortune ones. But Barbara's not getting fortune ones. She's getting pleasure sim ones. So part of her pleasure sim is wanting to buy, like, video games and stuff. You had to stream on YouTube because Twitch didn't like your internet connection. Yeah, I ha now that I'm a partner on Twitch, um, it's a lot better. But I had issues a lot whenever I was still an affiliate, too. Um, entertain, dance, woohoo in the car. They want a woohoo in the car. Barb, you owe me 10,000 points. <laughs> no, Margaret, no. No, no, no. Okay, let's, uh, what, what are some little ones we can do? Dance, entertain, let's entertain. Okay, I can't yet. Okay, let's see. Entertain. No, the date's over. The date's over. <laughs> she wants to stargaze, though. Um, okay, well. That that didn't help us any, did it? Now they're, now they're trying to go to work. <sighs> I guess we'll let her go. We'll let her go to work. And this is their last day, so we'll just finish up their last day. We'll finish up their last day and then we'll end the stream. We'll see if she rolls a one. She'll re-roll her once when she gets home from work too. Okay, let's get you some food. She can't, she's gotta go to work right now. So she can't juggle right now. She's wearing a wetsuit. She works in the oceanography career. Okay, Margaret. Margaret, did you just leave a bunch of garbage on the floor? Jeez, clean that up. Clean that up. Yep. Some of you guys are going to get a lot of points out of this. But you don't know. We don't know yet. We still have a little bit of time that she could roll. <laughs> Shout out from Alien Bisney to my computer for breaking under warranty. So now I can't play The Sims 2. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. That sucks. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't play The Sims 2. <laughs> it's a poem. What is happening? I get it. We've got garbage. We're going to get roaches, too. I don't know what time she gets home. Let's see. She gets home at 3 p.m., so we got a couple hours. I hope we don't get roaches. I hope we don't get roaches. There's two different kinds of points in my stream. You can get pleasant points, which you use for things like hydrates and radio station and commercial breaks. And then there's loyalty points, which you can... The only thing you can use those for are uh, the giveaways that I do every month. Or that I, I'm starting to do every month. I've only done one. Barb got roaches instead of babbies. Yep, roaches are here. Great. Great. Now everybody's going to get the flu and die. Okay, she's coming home. She's coming home. Did she re-roll her once? Okay, she's re-rolling some once. Oh, God, your wants are terrible, Barb. She just, I don't think she wants a kid right now, y'all. I don't. Okay, let's see. Let's go spray these roaches. Clean this up. Spray these roaches. Get rid of them. No, you didn't get rid of them. Spray. Again, I hope she doesn't get the flu. I hope she doesn't get the flu. Margaret wants to bring Gary Walton home from work. I guess. Whatever, Gary. I don't care. We gotta hurry up and get rid of these roaches. Margaret's bringing a friend home. <laughs> I'm gonna do... I'll do... I'll fulfill as many of these as I can when she finishes. Spr okay, finally. Is Barb no Barbara cannot talk right now. Dispose! 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 Stop crying! Why are you? Oh, there's more roaches! Oh, son of a Oh my god. We got infested, y'all. We got infested. Spray! Spray! Oh great! Great! Freaking great! <laughs> we got the flu now. We got the flu. That's just freaking great. 
We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die, okay? <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I... I don't think I can hit him with a... Oh, yeah, I can hit him with one. Rest in peace, Barb and Margaret. What a happy ending for the stream. Shout out from Rainbow Rainbow One to Cindy for inspiring me to start playing Sims 2 rotationally and once based. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope you're having fun. Hit him with that. Hit him with it. And we got nothing. We did get by a toy. But that's not enough. Okay, let's get her in the shower. Lay down. You. Oh, this is bad. Did you clean that up? Dispose. Yeah, we can buy a toy. That's true. We'll buy a toy. I mean, why not? There's no reason not to buy a toy. Let's see. What should we buy? We'll buy a rabbit head. I don't know why you why you would want this, but we'll buy it for her future. Nope, she got she got invite someone over. Okay, stop that! You're gonna die out here. <sighs> now go take a shower. <laughs> she just has a bunch of one uh, gain a skill point. I don't know. We got to get them like laying down or they're going to die. <laughs> they're going to Gary, get out of here. You creep. Get out of here. He's just standing in there while she's taking a shower. Invite the social worker. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. I'm afraid I'm going to kill him. I'm going to save right now because I'm afraid. She doesn't want kids. She just wants to have fun. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, maybe she did buy the toy for uh, rip, ripping Tina's baby. Okay, what do you want to do? You need to go to the bathroom and take a shower, too. We need to get you in bed. At least one of you. <laughs> the social worker is Crystal. That's right. She is. Okay, Barb, come on. Barb is getting real tired, y'all. I don't know what else we can do. Uh, she wants a skill point. Bubble blower game. We can buy electronic entertainment. Why not? She'll, then she'll quit rolling that stupid one. Uh, let's see. We'll buy her some electronic entertainment there. Boom. And... Nope. Now she wants to buy more expensive electronic entertainment. She's just not cooperating. <laughs> She's just not cooperating at all. And yes. Oh, she was happy about that. Margaret was like, yes. Yes. Okay, you need to take a shower and you need to lay down. Please nobody die. Okay, it's 6 p.m. So guys, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, but I don't do their lifetime want unless they have wants to unless they fulfill it themselves with their wants. That's how I play in The Sims 2. Oh, Barb can make the soup. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Let's get her up to make the soup. Uh, serve Grandma's comfort soup. I always forget about that. Let's get her up to make the soup. Oh, Margaret's. Margaret's over here coughing her lungs out. Go lay down, Margaret. I'll wake you up when the soup's ready. Come on. Get in here. Nobody die, okay? Nobody die yet. No, you're supposed to go lay down. Why aren't you doing what I tell you to do? Go lay down. We're going to make the soup. Okay, she's making it. Now, we're, you guys are going to give the flu to Gary. Gary's going to pass it all around town. <laughs> I, it is rare for them to roll a uh, baby once, but with Barb being a family sim, if, she, if we could get rid of some of these stupid pleasure ones. <sighs> the pleasure ones are too strong. The pleasure ones are annoying. I want to take it back. I want to take back that she's not rolling any family ones. She's just only rolling pleasure ones. We must annihilate Gary. <laughs> Okay, she's eating the soup. 
I don't know if it's gonna make her feel better or not. We'll have to watch and see if she keeps coughing. No, you can't cancel the secondary. I mean, you can do it. You can cheat and do it, but... I don't want to cheat. I'm not a cheater! I'd have to cheat the aspiration reward, which I don't think she... Unless she somehow has enough money for it. Wait, is it this one? Oh, she does have enough. Does this does this reset the second one? Does it re, does this reset this? It resets both. Oh, okay. Well, let's do it then. Let's try it. We ain't got nothing to lose. I can't stand these secondary pleasures. And you know what? We were talking about... Oh, her sickness is melting away. Okay, great. Great news. Reset lifetime aspiration benefits. That's what I need to do. Right? I need to reset these. Okay. Let's do it. She had plan She had like 76,000 aspiration points. The stream's not over. The stream's only over whenever I click stop streaming. <laughs> but I mean, I hate uh, the secondary, the pleasure aspiration, regardless of it, if, if she rolls for a baby, which I still don't think she will, but. Um, I hate this secondary aspiration. And see, we were talking about before um, some Sims not having a secondary aspiration or not giving it to them right away. Oh, she wants to hire a mate, hire an exterminator. Does that, do they still have roaches? Um, so let's go re let's go give her back her family once, of course. And I'm going to give her these. I'll leave one open until I decide what to do with it. Okay, yeah, I know you need to go to sleep, but first you're going to go hire a... And the stream's not also not over until we get to 6 a.m. That's when I'm going to call it quits. Because um, that'll be the end of their round. So let's go put these away as single plates. We got to keep that soup. And then we're going to call for an exterminator. That's a good idea, Barb. And then she's going to have to go lay down. I don't think it's cheaty because it's part of the game. I usually don't do it, but those pleasure ones are driving me freaking insane. I think if a sim rolls a secondary pleasure, I'm just not going to give the, those sims a secondary aspiration. I hate the pleasure pleasure aspiration. I hate it. <laughs> okay, so let's do uh, exterminator. Call the exterminator, Barb. And then she's going to have to go to sleep. Use the bathroom. Gary's just hanging out. Gary, you need to go. You need to go home. Pleasure is so annoying. I can't stand it. Constantly juggling, staying home from work. And buying game systems. Ugh. Okay, sleep. She's got to go to sleep. But we may still get an alien baby because she constantly wants to stargaze. So I haven't given up hope on that on that front. They may still get a baby like that. Yeah, I think you guys lost. Unless she gets up somehow before 6 a.m. <laughs> and I want to check in on Margaret, too. Uh, I don't want to wake her up yet, though, because it's only 1147. And if I wake her up, she won't go back to sleep. I'm a secondary pleasure sim, yes. <laughs> but I don't have to control myself. If I'm somebody sim, they probably hate me. They're probably like, oh my god, these stupid pleasure ones. Oh, she just woke up on her own. Great. Um, go and eat some grandma's soup. I never juggle. Juggling sucks. <laughs> I mean, I guess it would be alright if I could do it, but I can't, so... Not that fun to me. Eat some grandma's soup. <laughs> I don't jump on the couch either. I guess I'm missing out in life. 
I do put on my pajamas frequently and buy video game systems. <laughs> my main aspiration is knowledge. I don't know, maybe my main is pleasure. <laughs> maybe my main is pleasure. And my secondary is knowledge. I buy expensive electronics when I can afford them. <laughs> no, I don't buy the expensive ones. I buy the cheaper version. But no, I haven't bought any electronics in years. The last thing we bought was a PlayStation 4. And we got it on sale, on a Black Friday sale for a really freaking good deal. But like, I, we always stay one generation behind on like gaming systems and stuff. Um, cause I'm just not going to pay like four or $500 for a gaming system. That's just ridiculous. I'll wait till it, I wait till it's like half off. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Taurus. Okay. Let's see here. You think these Sims are scalpers? That's why they constantly want new consoles. <laughs> I know, me too, Mary. I wish two-thirds of the ones were primary and a third were secondary. We do need a mod for that because it's just like their secondary aspiration takes over their personality and I don't like that. Seems like pleasure is the worst. Pleasure is just insidious. Um, I'll see if I can find him. I'll see if I can find Laszlo. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's work on cooking some more. Study cooking. Aw, thank you so much. Who is your daddy, 1987, for giving out uh, five gift subs to Samantha JJM96, Jelly Ellie, Spooky Kaylee, Macy J8, Lori H572. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, well, she's gonna study cooking. We're gonna check in on Barb. Barb is doing all right. We'll wake when Barb wakes up. Then that's gonna be it. And then I'll see if I can get uh, Laszlo in here. Grilled cheese, too. Grilled cheese is invasive. Yeah. She probably... Do does she have a degree, Rainbow? Because if you have... If your sim has a degree, then they can start at a higher level in a career. Now I want a grilled cheese. I'm hungry now. I went up for my sub goal by a little, just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, it's almost, it's, we're getting there. We're getting there. She's gonna roll her once one more time. And I'm keeping that one locked in because that gives us a chance of having a baby next time. Okay, so I'm gonna wake her up now at 6 a.m. Cross your fingers, guys. This is the last chance. Cross your fingers. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> nope, I'm sorry. She did not really want for a baby the whole time. Um, and now their <laughs> their time is over. So sorry. But next time we play them, I'm crossing my fingers for an alien baby. So maybe next time we play, we will do a prediction. Will she get abducted? Right? Okay. Gonna save the lot. I'm gonna choose your prediction. I'll see if I can find Laszlo. Oh man. <laughs> wow, you guys are gonna get a ton of points. <laughs> so sorry for the yes, for the yes men in here. The no's have it. Complete prediction. There you go. <laughs> okay, let me see. Mr. Pleasant! I gotta get Mr. Pleasant to bring me Laszlo so I can show him to you. If he's here, he might not be home. And in that case, no, I'm sorry. Mr. Pleasant, are you here? I don't think he's here. <laughs> I'm just screaming through my house. <laughs> Barb gave you 10,000 points, wow. Mr. Pleasant! Okay, I don't think he's home, guys. I don't think he's here. Um, so I'm sorry, I can't show you Laszlo. <laughs> you can't go get me Laszlo. Um, but you know what? I'll try to show him at the beginning of the next stream. I'll try to show him at the beginning of the next stream. That way I know he's here. <laughs> You're here. You can hear. I think he's, I, I really think he's gone. I think he left. 
<laughs> he's like out he's like i'm out um all right guys well i'm sorry about that but we will you will have a laszlo sighting soon i promise um i'll try to show up in the next stream i'll tell mr pleasant beforehand that i need him to get laszlo for me <laughs> all right guys um thank you so much for joining me this was a super fun strange town saturday even though we didn't get a baby at least we got barb and what's her face margaret barb and margaret got married they got a new house they got a ton of freaking money and that way when they do have a baby we're gonna be able to move them on up in the world we're gonna move them up we're gonna get them a nice house this is just their little starter house while they're saving up money and i'm fine with them staying here for now okay guys so i'll be back on monday evening or afternoon for me i don't know what time it is for you monday at 2 p.m mountain time and we will be playing i don't know what we're gonna play yet i don't know yet i'll let you know we're gonna play something <laughs> thank you for the cheer beth and thank you so much guys for all of the subs gift subs cheers thank you very much and thank you for all the follows and just for being here with me thank you for all your support i really appreciate it and uh, also, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll probably have a new video coming out on Monday for you guys as well on YouTube. So thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.